folk, folk, folk. <laughs> Strike a pose. There's nothing to it. Vogue. <laughs> Hey guys, what's kicking? It is time for the Coleman Collective on Wednesday evening. I had the time on the broadcast wrong. So if you're just getting this message or you saw the email, I'm so sorry. What a ding dong. That's totally my fault. Um, but I have changed it. And welcome everybody. How are you guys? I am Sarah the Traveling Button and we are here with my hubby Junk Drunk Mantiques for another Rockin' Coleman Collective. And this week, we have a mystery guest. Yes, and we do. Our mystery guest will be on in just a little bit. You will not want to miss who it is. They are wonderful. And uh, the mystery guest has brought some serious stuff tonight that yes. you won't want to miss either. Oh, my gosh. I have kitsch. David has pottery and glass. Mystery guest has Love. a photo of everything. Oh, my gosh. Tonight's going to be so good. But first, <clears throat> I want to tell you guys what we did last night. Um, <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. Um, you saw that we went to see Madonna, the original material girl, last night in concert. And oh my word, David, what was your first impression? Were you just like, so many boobies? <laughs> <laughs> Lemmy. Yeah, it was, there, Lemmy. Lemmy didn't go. He, he just heard about it. But it was um, like 10 times better than I ever had thought it would have been. Um, we waited for about two hours for it to start, which apparently is a normal thing, which we didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> the show was billed for 8.30. So, of course, we're there at like 7.30-ish, you know, to get seated and get water and go to the bathroom and all that. And, uh, yeah, it didn't start our time until 10.45. So, right. she was two hours and 15 minutes late. Um, and apparently, that's a Madonna thing. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to a show. Um, but I guess she starts two hours late always. And sometimes it's three and four hours late, which I could not have gotten that down. No. So we didn't get in bed last night until about 3 a.m. And we're both kind of dragging ass tonight. But um, yeah. I'll tell you what, what <laughs> wonderful, so surprising, fantastic production. I don't think I've ever seen anything in my life that caliber, honestly, like I've been to a lot of concerts oh, I've seen Phantom of the Opera in, in London. Like I've, I've seen a lot of really world-class lovely things, but Madonna really took the cake. I'm not even kidding. Like, yeah. good Lord. Yeah. I didn't know Laza said she's notorious for that. I did not know. I agree, bug. We were half pissed by the time she came on. I'm not going to lie. It was 1045 and I'm thinking my dogs are lonely. I'm hot and I'm crunched into my a back curtain like this. Yeah, we're like, right? mm. So like <laughs> so we had good seats. We were right on the front of the balcony. Yeah. So we got to sit through the whole concert, which we never do. But I mean, we were just in awe, like mouth open because like she was at one point raised up over the stage. She goes into the stage. A bunch of naked people come out of the stage. I mean, it's just, like, I had no I'm idea what we were in for. And it was. It was freaking spectacular. It was better than anything I've seen in Vegas. Like, good God. It was just, yeah, it was next level. So for those of you that have been to a Madonna show, holy beans, I had no idea. Um, for those of you that haven't, I highly recommend going, but plan accordingly. She comes on two hours late minimum. Yeah, um, yeah I know. I And that's how we, but what was great, I'll tell you this we were surrounded by people our age and older. Like there were no young people there. We were all like, Oh my God, we've got to work tomorrow. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> we were all half irritated by the time she came on, but Oh my God, you guys, it was just, yeah, it really was just, I mean, it was insane. Like, so it starts out with um, a really cool opener talking about how she started. And then basically the whole concert is going through the decades of music the hits and then the rebranding and just building of her own empire, basically like, and even did some shout outs to some of her old um, music colleagues from the eighties. So it was yes. really cool. Yes. Really and 40 cool. years of Madonna music was performed and you realize what a span as an artist, I right. don't care how you feel about her, good, bad, ugly as an artist to span that many years and still be out there shaking it. I was like, Kudos, kudos, sister. What an icon. And it was yeah. just, it was, it's the queen of pop. Highly, highly recommend. Um, I could go on and on. Seriously. I have so much video. My phone is like full. Um, 
it was just so much fun. We had a great time, got home super late, and here we are hanging with you guys. So we are going to party tonight. And Adam, I saw you said, I think I see Bob the Drag Queen. Um, for those of you that are RuPaul yes. uh, Drag Race fans, um, Bob the Drag Queen won, I think it was season eight, I believe. Um, and he emceed the whole thing and had on the entire Victorian Madonna get yeah. up with hair. It was it was next level. The whole thing was next level. Anyway, okay, yeah. enough about that. Um, <laughs> we are going to do some vintage tonight, and boy, do we have a cool mystery guest. Um, yes, we we're going to have so much fun. We have multiple rounds for each of us. We have some um, choice. We have mm -hmm. trivia tonight, and we have three giveaways. So it's going to be really, really, really good. Um, and again, I'm sorry, I had the broadcast at the wrong time. It's been a really busy week, so apologies. But here we are, tell your friends. Um, yes. So, uh, David, do you want to let everybody know if anybody happens to be new, um, yeah. how we're going to do this? And then I want to introduce our mystery guest. Perfect. So, yeah, if, if you haven't done this or you're new, um, so we do um, straight auctions. So we're going to show you an item or a multiple amount of items as choice. <clears throat> and we're going to start a bid at, let's say, $10. If you're interested in that item or one of those items, you can put in 10 and then we get the auction going. And basically, if there's in the, if there's more than one person interested, we just treat it like an auction. You bid up at least in do dollar increments or more. Um, and then we start a countdown. So we start a countdown from 15 all the way down to zero. And then Lisa Viscomi is our bid ender. So she'll put in bid end. And the last bid that we see is going to be the bid that takes it. We don't do any just in cases. So there's no uh, balancing out who might get it. It's just straight bids. Um, and a bid, of course, is um, a promise to buy. And if you haven't already, uh, you just want to send your information to ttbsaracy -E at gmail.com. All we need is your YouTube name, your regular name and address, and the email address you want us to send the invoice. And that comes through PayPal, which you don't have to be um, associated with. You can check out as a guest. So, um, And really cool thing is Sarah and I, we're a married couple, so we're in the same house. We combine all of our stuff and ship it out to you. With that being said, this coming Sunday is our Sunday night sale, and we have consolidated shipping to one once a week, so that way we can combine Wednesdays and Sundays to save you guys money and to make it a little bit easier to get all those items to you um, affordably. So um, pretty, pretty simple. So what you bid on tonight from Sarah and I will be invoicing Monday. And of course, our mystery guest, you'll find out uh, when that person will be invoicing shortly. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring on our mystery guest. I will tell you, you yeah. all know her. Every, I think everybody in this chat knows her. Um, yeah. She is a lovely human being, a great seller, has a spectacular eye for vintage. And is our resident lover of all things orange. Please welcome Miss Karen Chase and Vintage. Hi. Hello. Hey, how about a double header today, right? Yeah, just got done with one. I'll do another one. Why not? Yes. Why not? Yeah, she and Lisa <laughs> had their weekly sale earlier. And now Karen is on with us for a fun sale tonight. So we are yes. so excited to have Karen here. And as you guys know, Karen um, loves glass. She has a ton of swung vases. She's bringing tonight um, some cool pottery. It's going to be an epic night. So stay yeah. tuned and please welcome Miss Karen Chase. Laza, thank you so much for the compliment on those glasses. I love them. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I don't get a chance to wear them that often, but I was like, I'm totally wearing these for Madonna. They were a lot of fun. So. Oh, it was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Especially with your hat. You have the rainbow hat as well. <clears throat> Say hi to everybody that's here. Welcome yeah. in. Those of you that are just getting here, thank you so much. This is our Wednesday night time at 7 p.m. Eastern, and that is 4 p.m. Pacific. So hello, hello. Lisa, that's as Lisa mentioned, is our bid ender, and thank you for being here, Lisa. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank do you, remember we do not honor just-in-case bids. And make sure you're in live chat as you're here with us. Hi, Liz Martin. It is great to see <laughs> that she's been giggling like a schoolgirl okay. all over the snail. I have to say, um, I posted um, a picture in my community tab, just caption this, and everybody's captions were hysterical. I love them. 
So yeah, keep on keep on posting on captions for our little little snail friend. <laughs> he's oh, gone. Snail friend, yes. He's he's <laughs> off to his new home, but um, <laughs> he will never be forgotten. We have him captured and idolized on video forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> Hi, Vintage Wildflower. How you doing, sweetie? Great to see you. Hello, hello. Hey, Bug, Mediocre Arts and Crafts. I adore your name and I love your honesty. Mediocre Arts and Crafts. That is so funny to me. I love it's a it. humble brag in my opinion. Heck so. yeah. Humble brag. Angel girl in the house. Hey, darling, it is great to see you. Thank you for being here. And Mike Parson. How are you, Mike? What's you doing? Doing? We've got sweet Phil. Hello, Phil. Hey, How Phil, are you? You're doing better. Yes. Hope you're feeling well and good. We've got our girl Laza in the house. Laza. Looking fun, Laza and Miss Terry Valenti. Hello. Terry, I always say, I hope I'm saying your last name right. I hope I'm doing you justice, Terry. That's, that's Susan right. Vu Vu. Hello. Don't Susan. worry. I got the times wrong too. So <laughs> don't worry. I hope it sent you guys an email or a a uh, notification. A notification. But yeah, I don't know. It probably it might send one in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I might get another one. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get one, Karen? Did it send you an, an, a notification? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, maybe. I have it on. Uh, Do not disturb. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Adam. Good to see you, love. How are you? Hello, hello. Yeah. Trina Hansen loves the new time. I do too, that's Trina. Great. It's nice starting early and getting done early, and I still have my night. I love it. We've got Bus and Move in the house. Hey, good to see you. Hey, Laura Orton, hello. Great to see, see you it. as well. Oh, all our peeps are here. I'm scrolling down. Rolling down Renovative Home, Sarah. Hello. Miss Peppermint Patty, what's good in? Hello. Patty Rose. Hey, Hi. Patty. Bug's name is a hoot, right? Same, yeah. So, so good. Lisa's Lisa still got a notification. Okay, good. Okay. I'm so then glad. we're on track. Yes. Mike, I'm glad. I know. Actually, since we started Wednesdays, I've had several people that are like, you know, Thursday nights were always so bad. I'm glad I'm going to get to catch you guys. So yeah. I'm like, yay, I'm glad. that's wonderful. There's Word Smith and Evelyn. Hey, you guys. Hey. Love to see you. Susan Lynn got the email. All right. Perfect. Well, that worked out. Sarah said didn't get a notification. Yeah, I had the time wrong. Damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> totally my fault, guys. I apologize. Um, so, okay. Yes. So this is our Wednesday night sale. This is the Coleman Collective. And we're going to do trivia. Let's do trivia at 530, 6, and 630. We'll do our giveaways. And we're going to be um, doing 80s trivia for the giveaways. And Karen, I've got your question ready. So don't worry. Good. Now, those of you that might have um, never purchased from Karen before, thank you, Lisa, for entering mm -hmm. that. Go ahead and screenshot the screen now so you have her email address, and that way you can email her. And then, guys, please subscribe to Karen Chase and Vintage. Yes. Um, yes. She's mm -hmm. our guest. And we got to meet Karen and Curtis when they came through town um, when they were headed back up to Seattle. And it was so nice to meet you guys and get to put – a face with the name and we oh, had a wrong yeah, it was such a great visit yeah, yeah. great dinner together and yeah. Karen brought David some old cameras that I know were important to her and yeah. this was really cool we had a we had a nice visit so, so awesome yeah yeah, yeah. Love we're gonna visit story. more I know we are she's I know we're gonna get oh, Karen yeah. down here to Colorado and we're trying to go up north northwest sometime this year Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes. You know where you can stay. So. Well, yes, uh, we will. We will take you up on it. So, looking forward to it. There's Karen Williams in the house. Hey, girly, how are you good. for being here? Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm I, I, I lost your wrench, but I'll get it back. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. No worries. No worries at all. All right, you guys. Well, we're gonna get rolling. Oh my God, Susan Lee's finally out of the hospital. Big round of applause. Oh, for you. Yeah. I'm, so for you. I'm so glad, Susan. I'm sure you are so happy to be home, girly. Yes. And we are glad you're here with us. Thank you so much for being here, Wordsmith. I saw your picture of the cherry blossoms in DC. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. And I didn't know the Japanese gave those trees to us as a gift after the I war. That either. is. 
That's beautiful. Yes. Oh, thank you, Phil. That is so nice. I would love to get to 4K. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so, as well as Karen Chase and Vintage and Hubby Over Here Junk Drunk Mantiques. Yes. Make sure you subscribe and give these lovely, lovely people some love. Hi, we'll people. Try, uh, reach 500. I'm giving this away. Yeah, Ooh. that's right. Wait, hold on. on, everybody. Ooh. Yeah, you keep filling it up. And it's full of vintage goodies. Oh wow. my goodness. Yeah, there's a perfume bottle. There's a, a silver plate a compact, all kinds of stuff. And every day I add to it. So that's so awesome. fun. So you guys, when Karen gets to 500, she's one of the 500 will win that thing. Yes. So make sure you subscribe to her channel. If you have not already, she is a sweetheart. She's one of our wonderful mm -hmm. buyers and friends. And now we're so happy to welcome her to the selling mm -hmm. community. So, yes. um, yes, mods, if you don't mind, would you throw the link to Karen's channel in the chat? It'll only show up unless you're one of my mods. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Thank y'all. All right. So with that being said, we are going to get this show on the road and get rolling. We will be doing a giveaway here in 12 minutes. So stay tuned. Um, and we are going to have Mr. David go first. Then we'll do Karen and then we'll follow up with me. All right. Yes. Thank you, Phil. You're such, thank you, Phil. You're such, <laughs> such a sweet cheerleader. I don't know what we'd do without you, Phil. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. All right, Coleman, we're making you go first. Karen and I are going to watch. So, so I had seven waves. Now I have six. No, I'm kidding. Nothing broke. Um, <laughs> so, Sarah, I'm starting these at $3 for choice. Okay. And welcome, y'all. And if for those of you that don't know, I know a lot of you do. Um, we have waves, and they were made uh, in England, and they went with your uh, English tea they would come with the tea so they're all very collectible there's tons of different um sets and uh like animals and buildings so um these are a little bit more different i thought they were kind of cool we've got the white house That's neat. which is neat i didn't even know that existed um but so you have the white house double-sided that's, that's your fun. first one we have an arrowhead very cool arrowhead in oh, gray. I've never seen that one. We've Same. never seen that one before. No. Nice double sided. Very and cool. then um, we have a choo choo. We have a green choo choo. We actually got two of these and I kept one for now. You know how I do. I hold on to a few things here and there and then I'll <laughs> send them out later. We got a choo choo. We got a tractor and it's red. That looks like an Alice Chalmers. Yeah, or, it does. Like small harvester. My grandpa was a tractor dealer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool, cool one. I have not seen these very often. So, um, and this one is really cool. I thought they were blocks, but it's tea boxes and then a little barrel on top. I've never seen that one either. These are awesome. Yeah, very different. And that one, of course, I love the yellow. And then we've got like a colonial hat. So great for like your patriotic display. Yeah. These or are your Americana or Fourth of July. Yeah, Trina yeah. said American images for English tea. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Why not confuse your customers? Um, but yeah, and then we've got the little itty bitty buffalo. Hmm. Oh, Trina said Boston Tea Party. Boston. Okay. That's epic. Yep. Okay, that's, that's a really good one. All right, let's go ahead and set them all up. I've had some coffee, so if you see them bouncing around, that's me, not them. There we go. I just love all the colors too. Usually you get, um, you know, the tan ones and stuff. These are all slightly different colors, which makes a really nice display. There we go. I'll just show them all together. Oh, those so, are fun. Aren't they neat? Yeah. All together. Okay. So I see all of your bids. Thank you guys so much. This is going to be for choice. And once again, we don't do um, just in cases. I'm going to move this arrowhead over here. Because he's bouncing. Patty. <laughs> I understand, Patty. I've done that before, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. This is for choice, and we're at four. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end and no chips or any damage on any of them. Great for those little shells. Thank you, Karen Williams. Those are so uh, good. 
that's a good deal on these guys. $4 for made. Heck Absolutely. yeah. Collectible. And these are some weird ones. Yeah. All wow. right. There's our bid end. So Phil M, thank you so much for your uh, bid of four. Let me know if you want. It's going to be pretty easy. We'll go train, buffalo, white house, hat, arrowhead, uh, tea boxes, and tractor. And that is Paul Revere's hat, I'm pretty sure. Yes. You know, that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Phil, that's so cute. Phil said, Amy, pick two for your new shelf. It's a gift. Phil, you're a sweet bean. So Amy Wildflower Hi. picked two. And then Susan, our Vuvu, you are next up. Hey, Perry, welcome in, love. Uh, mm -hmm. Susan, our Vuvu is next up. And then Karen Williams. Yeah, Adam hit it on the head. It's the primary colors that just mm -hmm. really make it different. Okay, Amy, I got you for the arrowhead and the train. Good Thank you, Phil and Amy. Good deal. And Susan, which one or ones would you like, honey? Let us know. And then Karen Williams, I know you probably know which ones you want. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Let's wait and see. And Karen, I don't know if you saw, but we've got Skipper back here waiting. He's going to he's gonna be a model tonight. Okay, Susan Arvuvu, I got you for the White House. You got Excellent. it. And then for Karen Williams, let me know if you want, which one you want. Was there a beaver trap? No, <laughs> no beaver trap, unfortunately. <laughs> but if you display it with a little beaver fur in the background, mm -hmm. really nice. Okay, so tr the truck. And the oh, yellow tractor in the yellow. Got it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Was that everybody? Yep. That was everybody. Thank you guys. Awesome. So we'll bring these for the recap. Thank you guys. Congratulations, guys. Yes. All right, Miss Karen. What you got? What's your price? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna start this at twelve dollars. Okay. It's a piece of Murano glass. What? Ooh. Yep. What? You know, oh. I bought all those swung bases, and when I cost average. There were three pieces that I could get away with. Oh my word, you guys. Look at this. Hello. All right. We've got Daniel at 15. That can is see, can you see where it goes stunning. Or, an orange to a or darker red. It it definitely uh, definitely a look. Yes, the ombre on that, Karen, yeah. is. And look how thick Beautiful. it is. I swear it's, to you, over um, it is thick. You could hurt people with it. <laughs> <laughs> like a frisbee at somebody's right. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Well, it, it, would, it would hurt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, Nate. Welcome in, sweetie. Good to see you. There's my Nate. Jeff Nate. Oh my God! Look at this gorgeous Murano ashtray, you guys. It that is, is beautiful. For that I'll tell you what I really like is the way they folded it over. It, it's what you're seeing through is where it's folded over here, yeah. and then the front folded over here, and it makes it. I don't know, just different the way they folded the glass. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree, Bert Smith. The clarity is so beautiful on that. Mm -hmm. This There's is a few. There's a few scratches just where, you know how you, when you, they yeah. move stuff on the table. Sure. But I mean, look, that's not bad. No. I mean, that just happens when you have it on the table. Yeah. Right. Wow. Oh, that is so. That's it's Devo. Karen Devo. I love it. Devo. She, can whip it. she can whip it good. Yes. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, my Hi, Perla. Welcome, honey. Let me see. It is uh, seven inches across. Yep. But it's a beautiful piece of glass. Yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty, Karen. I love it. And this is such a good price, you guys. This is Murano. Oh. Yeah. Like, I'm tempted wow. to get in there myself. I know, right? <laughs> we, don't need it. we do not need it, but good grief, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I keep it, but I don't have anywhere else to put anything else. I completely get it, Karen. I you know. You're putting pictures in my living room. Where would I put it? <laughs> <laughs> Verlaine is 18, guys. We are looking for 19 on this fantastic Murano piece. My word. 
Yeah. So good. Amazing. I like the, the way it looks like that. You can see the orange and the red. Yeah. Yeah. And it also has a little bit of that like clearness to it in the yeah, spots too. Like the bottom so, is like clear. Yeah. Yeah. It's neat. They did a great job. Of course they always do. <laughs> yes. Okay. Renovative is it now? Anytime you're ready, girly. Yes. All right, Daddy. All right. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sit in. Sit in. Karen, you're a natural. You act like you've been doing this forever. I love doing it. <laughs> you're good at it. You're good at it. And we're so well, glad to have you on. I'm so excited to be here. You don't know. <laughs> oh, girl, we love you. Thank I you. I fell asleep last night. I was so excited. Aw. Congratulations, so Susan Lynn at 22. Good gift. Wow. Thank you. So good. Thank you so much, Susan. Beautiful piece, Miss Susan. I love it. All right. Now I'm like, oh my God, I have to follow all of that cool stuff. Okay. Where am I going from here? You got some. I got something. I got a <laughs> Okay, let's start with some small cutie pie kitsch. And honey, I'm going to start, start the choice on these at $12. Okay. Okay. So $12 for choice. First up in my choice is this little biscuit. And it is a bisque bunny made by Lefton with all of her little flowers and her bow. No chips, cracks, or issues. Isn't she cute? Yeah. Super cute. There is her Lefton made in Japan tag. And she is numbered 2008. She actually dates to the 60s. So she has seen some things. Look at that eye. Now that is a bunny Easter, like that's a blue bunny Easter bunny side side eye if I ever saw one. And she's darling. She's actually almost five inches tall and um just such a cutie in great shape. No issues at all. There is her backside. And again, made by everybody's favorite ceramic company, Leftins. Of course. So she is gonna be choice number one. Then I have choice number two which I just think is darling. And actually, I used to own this a long time ago. I sold mine several years back. Um, and it is an Easter bunny egg cup. And um, it's got the little anthropomorphic bunny built into it. Look at the ears. And you can see bunny's side. And then you've got the little bunny tail. It's marked Japan right here on the back of the bunny bottom. And look at the pink and those little ears. Mm -hmm. just absolutely beautiful. Oh. So such a cute piece. That is going to be choice number two, Kitcharama. Awesome. And then choice number three is probably my favorite. Um, I almost kept this, and I will probably kick myself for selling it because I've never found one of these before. Uh oh. Look oh, no. This. I thought you got this oh. for yourself. Okay. So I did, but then I was like, it'll just get lost in all my stuff. I really want somebody to. Buy I didn't this. make her sell this. I did not. It was not my fault. Um, this is made by Napco, and it's teeny, okay? It's little bitty. It's only probably an inch tall and a couple inches wide. You do have the original Napco sticker on the bottom. Looks like it came from Jerry's Flowers and Things. Good old Jerry. And look at the baby deer right next to her. Is that not the most precious thing you've ever seen in your life? Yeah. Oh, wow. God. It's so adorable. I know. It's so cute. And it's bitty. It's just bitty. So, like, in comparison to the bunny, you can see it's just a little oh. bit. Isn't it cute? Oh, my gosh. I know. I am just smitten with the little deer. So, these are your choices. You have our precious little left in friend. You have the adorable bunny egg cup made in Japan. Or you have the Napco precious little deer. And that is a mama and a baby. Look how sweet this is. All right, so here sweet. we go. We are starting to count down. Angel Girl is in at 14. Thank you so much, guys, for your bids. Here we go. 15. This looks like a deer, too, doesn't it? 15, yeah. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for a bid end. 
Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on yes. our Wednesday night sale, the Coleman Collective, yes. 7 p.m. Eastern weekly. We'll be here. And of course, we have a live shop with me tomorrow night at my friend Greta's place. And you guys will not want to miss that. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. It's going to be epic. All right. Angel Thanks. girl, thank you so much for your high bit of 14. Would you like the egg cup? Would you like the left and bunny or the little Napco deer with deer baby? Okay. And then after that will be Laza. All right. Then Laza. And, and that, that was everybody. Okay. So Angel Girl and Laza, I will wait to hear from you guys and we can communicate in the comments. Okay. Mama and Baby and Bunny Egg Cup is going to Angel Girl. You've got it. Laza, let me know if you want the precious little left in bunny. Okay. And if not, we'll bring her back for the recap. And then it is actually time for our first trivia. Okay. You know what, David? I'll put you up on the screen since you're next Okay. and tell them what they're going to win. Oh, you know what you're going to win? You're going to win $5 Coleman cash. And I don't have my Coleman cash. There it is. $5 Coleman cash. You can use it um, up to 30 days from today um, on a purchase from tonight or in the future uh, up to a month. Hey, Brad. It's good to see you. So hey, it's a super easy deal. Um, we're going to show uh, give you a trivia question i think they're from the 80s today and the first person we see that gets it right will get five dollars coleman cash here is your question for five bucks in coleman cash who popularized lace fingerless gloves in the 80s hint i saw her last night in person that was a giveaway oh Peppermint Patty won five bucks in Coleman Cash. Congratulations. Awesome. Congrats, Peppermint. Peppermint so, Patty, bring me down. You've got all five right, bucks. First one's down. So you guys uh, remember right at um, 6 p.m. Eastern is going to be our next giveaway. Or no, 6 p.m. Mountain. <laughs> 6 p.m. Mountain time is our next giveaway. In 26 minutes. Yeah, the lag right. is bizarre. Hi, Susan Jackson. Good to see you. Hey. All right. So, um, yeah. So for my next items, I have some glass and I'm starting these off at 18. I'm going to show them together. Turn this guy around a little bit. Um, antique, pretty much antique piece. And then we have like a studio art glass piece. You know, they kind of look interesting together because you have the art deco and then you have more like a, like a floral type of piece. Um, now this piece right here is acro agate. So that Delphite blue slag art glass. Um, I did want to note we have just a little icky boober right here, a little bump right there. It doesn't affect the display. It's on the bottom, but I just wanted to note that. And it also, you know, it doesn't affect its durability. Um, has a nice trumpet style opening. Um, and it can be used as a like a little pot or just like a little vase. And it measures right at three inches tall. And just a really nice Art Deco design. You could use it as a riser as well. It does have a nice flat, even though you have the curves. Um, so that's your first piece. And of course, anytime you get something, the Delphite blue <clears throat> goes so good with uh, a, a green uh, glass piece for sure. And um, show you that really cool marble effect that they have in there. Awesome. And it is low glass. It's not flash glass. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And then the really just kind of the crude opening at the top I love, I love it yeah i really like the color and the style nice and short and squatty you could use it for a propagation station or you could just use it as a nice little base to put in front of your other glass pieces but yeah these pieces and i i thought you know karen williams let me know i didn't know if this was like a spooner i think it's too short for a spooner but i did have like our spoons that we use like for our coffee a little bit lighter weight and it would hold them just fine oh, as yeah. a spinner. So actually would work. I mean, you could use it for a lot of things. You wouldn't yeah. have to. Be. It doesn't have to just be a big pot. You could use it for all kinds of stuff, but the blue on it is so uh, saturated and intense. Yeah. Great blue. Yeah. Really nice blue. And you can see that green has a really nice style and it is a sign piece. I forgot to mention, we've got the signature and we tried looking it up. You just can't really read it. It's very, yeah, you can't even hardly see it right now. There you go. There it is. 
And so it looks like Swamin or C. I don't, I don't know. Can you guys make that out? Literally, David and I were like, we're at a loss. We don't know. And of course, um, it could be upside down. A bagly vase. Oh, like a tea bag type of thing. No, I, I think he's talking oh. brand. All right, oh. wait, 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 Google that. What's a bagly vase? Yes. All right. Well, I'll show them one more time here. Um, and this this vase right here is right at five inches tall. There, that gives you a better color. Oh, the designer. Okay. Thank you. Made in England, William Bagley and his three sons, Arthur, John, and Walter, established Bagley Glass ah. many years oh. ago. Huh. huh. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's actually really expensive. Okay. Who knew? Well, that's amazing. All right. So you're saying the art glass is... Oh my God. Yeah. Pee Wee, okay. at this price, I'm, I don't know how you're resisting. Now I'm like, maybe well, we should. Well, in that case, we might just put it away. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, and it, it is a really beautiful green tone. It's right in between like a soft green and then like a hunch, hunter green. It's like um, Kelly Green. Oh, wow, Pee Wee. Well, thank you so much. I could not find any info on it. So yeah, I'll show you one more time. We've got that etched in there. So it is signed. Um, so yeah, a nice artist. Thank you guys. Thank you we, guys. Did, we didn't know and we tried to find out, but nothing popped. So too late now. I know, Karen. Well, you know what? That's okay. That's the fun of coming to a live sale too. You might um, get an $18 vase that goes for that's right. $164 elsewhere. Yeah, I would say the opening is big enough to definitely put in like a one stemmer for sure. Probably a rose mm -hmm. stem or smaller. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Victoria, it's good to see you. All right, so let's count down. We've got so much to get to tonight, and we've got our mystery guest. Is that a bug piece, David? This one, yes. I oh, think that's right. Oh, the yellow, that's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and start our countdown. Less is in, and bug piece, let, let me know what you mean, Less. Oh, it does have a glow. I, I did check that earlier. It doesn't have a glow to it. Double checking. No, no glow to it. But it, they didn't need to because it's a marble type of effect. So you don't really need that extra uh, clarity for those kind of pieces. But And it has like a texture. So the, the glass actually has a marble texture on the outside. You can see it, how the, the, um, the ring light is picking up the texture. Yeah. Yeah, you can fit a beaver in there. So let's count her down. Less is in at 18, and this is for I choice. Fit a beaver in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh, yes, yes. It does have no, no, the bug piece that is there. There. that's the no. blue one. <laughs> uh 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is. Okay, that's a like orange peel. Oh, yeah. Orange. That's great. I love it. That's a really good price for that Badgley vase. Who knew? Oh, my God. Who knew? Well, now we know. And somebody's going to get a hell of a deal. Awesome. Awesome. And, yeah, if you can see the light does shine through, but it's a very marbled effect. Susan Lynn, it's coming oh, to Susan you. Perhaps. So, yeah, let me know green or blue. Pretty sure I know. And yes, last year, 27 came in right after the bid end. And thank you, Pee Wee, for the info. And by the way, Pee Wee, I saw your comment on Real Fur. I think the, the way that works is if it's a vintage item or an old item that has been recycled to be purchased and it has Real Fur, you can sell it. Yeah. If, if you do taxidermy yourself, it's a new, you can't sell it. There's different things you have to do to right. be able to do that. Okay, so Susan, I got you for the green piece. Thank you so much. And Les, I'm guessing you're going to pass on that. So we will um, bring that back for the recap. Yeah, what was the the name of that again? I missed it too. Badgley. Okay, I'm going to write that down just so I can look that stuff up. Yeah, well, and I just learned a new thing. And literally neither one of us could make out the signature. So I'm so glad Pee Wee knew. Thank you. Yes, Thanks. thank you. Yes. Thank you, guys. Bagley. All right, Bagley. I'm back. Let's do a swung vase. How's that? Let's do it, Karen. 
Yeah. All right. I have this 15 inch Viking. Whoa. Can you even see the whole thing? Okay, this exact vase, before you give a price, I'm going to tell everybody, this exact vase was at the Brass Armadillo in Denver. Yep. We saw it uh, this okay. last week. And it was a hun it's $160 for this exact vase at the Brass Armadillo in Denver. Yes. I don't even want to tell you what I wrote down. All right, I'm going to start this vase at $22. Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> It's got six, and it glows. Oh, oh hold on, doggy! Look at that. Yeah, that helps. Holly's in at forty. She's not playing. You're smart. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what and then this down here lights Whoa. up the sky. That is gorgeous, Karen. Yeah. It's a pretty piece. Beautiful. I like how clear it is at the top. That is so cool. Isn't that uh -huh. weird? Mm hmm But it still glows pretty good. Yeah. It glows, I'd say, starting right here, it glows all the way up. That is beautiful. Lisa, uh, it is a intense orange that graduates to like an ombre kind of yellow and then clear. So the bottom has all that good cadmium in it. For mm -hmm. the yeah. Oh, and it has the little, uh, I like the little teardrops or thumbprints or whatever they are. Yeah. Petals. I think it's supposed to be single. But. This yeah. is the six petal. And you guys, these are so, again, in Denver, this exact vase, we just saw it a few days ago, 160. So, yes. Yeah, this is a holiday. True story. Very true story. It is. I'm, I mean, I'm not, because David and I are Well, and that's the thing. You guys probably know any of you that go yeah. out to like the antique shops and stuff to even find these kind of vases actually in stock is actually, is getting much harder. It's and they're 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 there. There. <laughs> there they are. Yeah. There they are. Yeah. Yeah. All. <laughs> and those are for sale. You should see upstairs, but those are for sale. That's exciting. I love these things. You know, I do. I just I love them. They're, they're so corn. good. Yeah. Candy corn. There you go. All right. Should we All start right. counting it down? Sure. 15, All right, guys, no, just in case we're at 62, looking 14, for 63. Here we go. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There uh, it is. Tequila Sunrise. I like that better. Oh, yeah, there you go. That is what it is. <laughs> Love it. All right, Susan Lynn snuck in oh, there at 68. Lisa's in at 70. Oh, snap. Watch out. Who's going to get it? I can't buy I don't know, but I want to see the three corgis. Yeah. Lisa's three corgis. She got oh. three. Susan Lynn's at 71. Mm -hmm. There's our baby from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. All Thank right. You, Susan. Amy Wildflower says she needs this for her letterpress. <laughs> <laughs> sure. She's such a goofball. Wildflower, I love it. <laughs> crazy all right uh, great get great get. Such a, yeah such a good get holy cow um let's go let's go this way i've got some funsies let's do a little bit of choice and these are both really fun pieces and i'm gonna start this choice babe at 20 okay all right so first up in my choice is this little lady and look at her fabulous hair. I've had a fresh perm. Uh, she is super duper cute. She has no issues, no cracks. And I think she's really nice for Easter because look at those little white gloves. She's wearing her white gloves and she's got a bouquet. And then the top of her little dress is actually made with real lace. It's got like a little silver line through it. So cute. And then down here, look, She's a trinket powder puff box. Oh, I know. Isn't she cool? She is made by Yukon Co. Japan. Mm -hmm. As most of us know that brand, if you collect any kitschy ceramics whatsoever, there is a front and a back to the bottom. The bottom has no gold line and the front uh, does have the gold line. And she's so cute. And again, originally powder with a little puff would have been inside of her. Um, no chips or cracks at all on this piece. She has a beautiful face. 
And I like, she's kind of got like some Doris Day vibes, perhaps. Yeah. Um, just such a sweet piece. Really, really beautiful. And she is going to be choice number one. Awesome. Okay. Choice number two is along the same lines of yellow, but it is a spring pixie on a stump and he is a little planter. I love this. He's a Gilner pixie. Gilner was a California pottery company oh. um, that really popularized these little pixies in the 50s. No chips or cracks on this piece at all. Really sweet. You can see Pixie is just kind of, I saw a lot of people in this pose last night at Madonna. And, and I think I saw this guy. Pretty sure I saw this guy. Probably. More than I bargained for. Let's just. <laughs> it was a deal. It was a good deal. It, it was. It was a great. It was a, a lot of moving time. parts. A lot of moving lot. parts. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> oh my God, yeah, he's, why is he napping, Adam? I don't know, I don't know, he's probably lazy. Donna was starting two hours late. I'm going to take uh -huh. a yeah. set and then I'm up for it. Um, <laughs> just, yes, Lisa, we did see the snail last night several times. Okay, so um, I'm going to start a countdown. We are at 25 with Trina. This is between the Gilner Pixie Little Planter and the cute little Yukonko Powder Puff Girl. These are, I will tell you, harder to come by that are a two-piece that are in great shape. Sometimes, like if you're at the thrift store, you'll just find this. And you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. I know she had a body in a dress somewhere. So, <laughs> so cute. Um, let's start a countdown, friends. Here we are. Trina is at 25. Yeah. We're looking at 26. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, uh -huh. 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Looking for a bid in. Madonna starts two hours late. Take a nap. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, and she, she did have a knee brace. Yeah, she had a knee brace on. Oh, yeah, and she before. had like that copper tape that you put on your leg um, because she had knee replacement surgery. And come to find out after the Madame X tour in 2020, she had a hip replacement. What? Like she's she's a beast, just a beast. Patty Rose, you won the bid, sweetie. It is you at 30. Let me know if you would like Gilner Pixie Friend or if you would like you Cogco Girl. And then next up is going to be our girl Victoria. All right. And then if Victoria passes, we're going to Trina Hansen. And then we're going to Verlaine. All right. So Patty Rose, you've got it, sweetie. Napping Pixie for you. And Victoria, let me know if you wanted our gorgeous little Yukonko girl. If you wanted to pass, that's fine too. And then in this order, Trina and Verlaine. Okay. okay. And we will go from here. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Um, it's David. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, me. I thought it at 65. And yeah. you would not know it. I mean, she is, she's a force. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. All right. So um, while we wait for those choices to come in, we have some uh, beautiful art glass. And um, yes, Les, this is the one that I had to clean mm -hmm. out a little bug that was in there. She cleaned up real nice, though. Um, and I'll, I'll put it the board behind it. But I just wanted to show you it's really bright in here. But it does have a nice uh, green glow when you put it under a 360 light. So, so the clarity is really nice. With that being said, it wouldn't be a, a, a real great display displayer in your green glass display but it has that beautiful clarity um you have like the mother or the uh jack in the pulpit style but it also shapes like a heart and then you have a pinch at the top and a little one at the bottom i've never seen one quite like this um and then you also have the applied clear uh little stones glass to look like stones or pebbles going up um a very flat smooth bottom you can see you have a little bit of the texture and it would look beautiful with your Costa Boda pieces. Um, also with some of your um, Bulacanti bud bases. So that's going to be your first choice. Really beautiful bud base. And it measures quite large for these types, um, nine and a half inches in height. So it's going to go really well with some of your swung bases uh, to give it just a little bit of a difference. And I just wanted to note a very thick lip all the way up and around. And I'm not saying anything bad tonight. So that is your first choice. And 
So second choice, I've had this for a little bit and I've enjoyed it, but it's time to let it on to the next, a beautiful uh, early 60s Murano piece. Yeah. Obviously, I love my yellow glass. This is very chunky and has a nice smooth bottom. Gorgeous. No damage at all. This is the type of dish um, that back in the day you could use as a, a candy dish or even as an ashtray and you can use a little, a little metal stand and the stand would go into these little hooks, glass positions right there, and it would be a little standing tray. So oh. if you find those kind of pieces, you can definitely do that. But yeah, yeah. it's it's a beautiful piece just sitting by itself. Got it. I like the fold, um, the Bulacante design too with it. It's it's exquisite. It's a nice piece. Yeah. It really is, and it's chunky, hefty, um, and just a beaut. And you can see the Bulacante is just so nicely organized in there. Hi, Susan. Yes, we did say hi to you, babe. Hi to you and Tim. Yes. Hello. You, Hello. And yeah, it's all, you can do connect the dot on this. Like it's so perfectly done. Um, this is going to blow your mind how they do those little timed intervals yeah. of, of blown bubbles in mm -hmm. the Bulacante. It really does. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's intense. And you can tell the difference between good Murano glass and none. This is nice Murano glass. Good clarity. Beautiful clarity yeah. all the way through. Glass. I know, I do too. And yes, yeah, so chunky. Chunky, chunky. And you know what? You can put your wieners in there. Just put saying. Put in there. Wieners in like that. You can put it over like that. About Bam. 17. 17 hot dogs. About 17 of them. Okay. All right. So those are the choices. Uh, thank you, Mike. I see your bid. We're going to set them up together. And I think the five little leaves on that one are so different. I've never seen one like it. Yeah, I have not either. It reminds me of some of the Blinko pieces we've seen. Yeah, it does. It's gorgeous. Yeah, you can see that. One plate with Mike. If anybody else wants to get in, it's for choice on these two pieces. Looking for 29 or more. All right. So let's count it down. That's a heck of a deal on Murano and then Swedish glass. Uh, 15, yeah, Lemmy would look awesome in there. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bit of... Hermes. Yeah, totally. I see yeah. it. Super cute. You know that, uh, strangely, I know you didn't mean to put it together, but they look good together. Yeah. I like, I like the yellow and blue together. That's yeah. all right. Well, there's our bid. Mike, you get your choice, yellow or blue. Congrats, Mike. Oh, so good. Congrats, That's Mike. a good price on those. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Not yet, Susan. Not, Not yet. This week. <laughs> no crafting yet. <laughs> no crafting yet. I agree, Susan. Yeah. Like yeah. Really good together. All right. Mike, Good choice. I got you. Thank you. I'll brew. I, that's all yours, and I'll bring the blue bud base at the recap. Congrats! Yay. So Thank good. You guys. All right. Okay. So now we'll take it down a notch. I found this um, Fitz, Fitz and Floyd carrot dish, and I'm going to start it at eight dollars. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Great for There's no chips or anything. I think they usually come as a set. When I looked it up, there were always two. So I guess that's why it was, you know, let go. But it's so perfect for um, Easter. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, they make really oh. nice stuff. Oh, yeah. I love Fitz and Floyd. If I pick it up anytime I find it. I do, too. Yep. Yeah, it's just a little uh, carrot dish and... I'd I fill it with uh, Cadbury eggs or something and sit it on the table and let everybody enjoy it. Put the eggs in there. Love Put it. the eggs in there. So I thought I'd bring something that's almost kitschy. Yeah. All my kitschy stuff is like in my guest bedroom. The whole thing <laughs> is kitschy. <laughs> that's fun though, you know, to have it. I, I don't want to sell it. I like it. Yes. But hopefully oh, I'll jelly find beans. Yeah. Put the jelly beans in there. Oh, jelly beans. I yeah. would like to have those right now. Yeah. Jelly, jelly bellies. <laughs> All 
All right. I see Mike is in at eight and Trina for 10. Yeah. I'll start the countdown. I love this carrot. I love it. I know you do. Oh, I wish we could feed you your carrot. I know. I would like to eat some carrots from you, Karen. Oh, I would love to give you some carrot. Oh, thanks, Karen. <laughs> All right. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Bid in. I'm happy about Easter and I could put my eggs and my jelly beans in the cabinet. Um, that would be perfect. That yeah, would be perfect. That would work for you. I would love that. This would be a really good Bucky uh, food dish. Yeah. This could be my bowl. Like the dinner dogs have their bowl. Yeah. Right? yeah. On Bucky. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like that, Bucky? Yes, David, I would like that. <laughs> You're such an ass. <laughs> oh, okay, that's going to Trina. Congrats, you. Congrats Trina. Heck yeah. Congrats. Oh, they're killing me. Oh, you guys. Okay. I love, I love it. I know, killing me too, girl, killing me too. <laughs> All right, so I have some really, really cute choices that I'm going to do. This is going to be a little on the higher side. I'm going to start these at 40 okay. per choice. And both of these pieces are really, really superb for spring, okay? First up is something I have never in all my days found ever. And for those of you that know, you know exactly what this is. Um, this is made by Holt Howard. It dates to the 50s. It goes with all of the other Holt Howard condiment jars. But this one is actually the tiniest of them all. And the reason why is because it's called sweeter and sugar, right? So I started poking around, and this was around the time that saccharin was popular. And this would be your little saccharin bowl. And uh, it came with its original little spoon. Look at the little tiny spoon that came with this. That's so, so cute. It has no chips or cracks. Yes, Wordsmith, it's just the same line of Holt Howard as the mustard and ketchup pixies, except this one doesn't have any head and it has a little groove even for the spoon now on the lid do you see that that is what is i would call ceramic scratches and underneath the glaze has come off on those scratches and underneath the coloring is uh, a little scratched okay um yeah. there is a tiny smidge of paint loss right there on the little well we'll call that the popsicle or okay. the the nib. I saw a bunch of that last night. <laughs> we saw a lot of that at Madonna last night. Um, I understand yeah, the tone. Yes, uh, it does have those little flaws. I wanted to let you know. This is a really hard to find tiny piece. Um, very difficult to find with the lid. Um, you hardly ever see it. And it does have the remnants of a Holt Howard sticker on the bottom. You can see the gold and the red just left there. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really hard, really hard to find little piece, okay? So yeah. that is going to be choice number one, the Holt Howard sweetener and sugar. Choice number two is just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, this is gonna be choice number two, and it is a Fisher Price 1950s little wooden pull toy. This would have been made between 52 and 54. This is not a repro. This is the real deal. And it's going to come with these little vintage flocked eggs. This one has like little beading to it and it matches the flowers. And then this flocked egg is the same as the last one. And these are all going to come in the basket with it. Um, typically, this piece goes for around $75. No, I'm not kidding. No, I, yeah. It really no. does. It really does. Because um, a lot of times with the Fisher Price pieces that had plastic like this, this is kind of a thin, malleable plastic. So the baskets, I've seen these before, but the baskets are either gone 
or broken yeah. up. This has both wheels. It pulls and rolls like a little pull toy. And it has a little hole right there where you could have attached a string. You see that it also says Fisher Price Toys. On the back side, we have a little wear right here to our guy. But again, not really a deal breaker for me. And can we talk about the shoes on this little baby? Look at the yeah. little socks. Jane's. Look, she's got her little pocketbook. And Daisy's in her bonnet. She's not playing around. She's going no. to see the Easter Bunny. Most decidedly. So again, this piece normally is around 75 bucks. We are at 40 right now with Victoria. And that is going to be choice on the Holt Howard sweetener and sugar piece. <laughs> or this precious little Fisher Price going to town. buggy. I know it's so cute, right? So oh my God, I can't take it. After this, too, we're going to be doing our next giveaway. Yep. So, yes, yeah, she is going to town, isn't she? So, <laughs> such a good deal on these. This piece normally goes for 70 and up. So, this is a great deal. Victoria's in at 40 on the Holt Howard Sweetener and Sugar or the little uh, Fisher Price. I think she's a ducky. Is she a ducky or a chicken? I think she's a duck. Mm, I don't know. The little yeah, bee. like a duck. duck. Yeah, I think she's a duck. So just super duper cute. And you're going to get the little eggs that come with it. Okay. So I'm going to start a countdown. Hi, Trippy. Good to see you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Yes, we moved. Hi, Kathy. Great to see you in the house, too. Anybody sure. else needs to get in on these? A very good deal at 40. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Looking for a bid end. Little wheels go to turn. So cute. And this rolls. You need it for your Easter display. Just precious. Yes. I see Susan Lynn in at 42. Thank you so much. Trindolin, Susan, I see you guys. Thank you so much for the bids. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic finds. Thank you, honey. All right, Susan Lynn, congratulations, sweetie. Would you like Holt Howard or would you like Fisher Price? Fisher Price or Holt Howard. And then Trenton, um, you are going to be second choice. And then we'll be Victoria. Yes. Perfect. I know the lag is poop, huh? This little piece, I was just so excited about. So cute. Okay, Susan Lynn, you've got the Holt Howard coming to you. And then Trindolin, would you like this precious little chicken with the eggies? Just let me know. And All right. Victoria after that. And Victoria after that. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure oh, that, um, that you are in all messages, live chat. Trindolin said, yes, you got it, sweetie. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right, you guys, we are going to do another giveaway. Yes. And since it's on me, I will tell you, we are going to do $5 Coleman cash. $5 Coleman cash coming at you. You have 30 days to use it. Um, so between now and April 20th, you can use your Coleman cash if you win today. And here is your question. All right. First person to get this right on 80s trivia. What Norwegian rock group had a hit with Take On Me? Take on me. Take on me. Take on me. Take on me. I'll be there. Let me see. The very first person is a Holly Parker. That is right. Aha. Holly Parker, congratulations. Parker. It is aha. You no won way. five. <laughs> Holly awesome. Parker. Congrats. All right. And the next giveaway will be in 30 minutes, and it is going to be Karen's giveaway. All right. So Ooh. don't miss it. Yes. Don't miss it. All right. My next find um, I'm bringing a satellite, uh, Imperial satellite camera with the flash and the original box. Uh, starting it off at 28, I'm going to show you the outside of the box first just to show you um, a little bit of repair that was done. The cover of the box is in excellent condition. 
great for your display behind or next to the camera. We just have some um, older tape that was put on here a long time ago. You could use a blow dryer and take that off if you wanted to. I just left it because it, it's solid. Um, but the box is just awesome when you see the display. So you got it displayed here. And you've got the satellite too. It's the like a gray modeled gray. And then the flash with the flash bulb on the top. Pop this guy out. Still has its little um, strap as well. And it's in really good condition. Nice condition, no dry rot or anything. And it takes great pictures. All you got to do is get that film. Um, but I'll show you the shutter opens and closes just fine. And yeah, made in a USA Imperial camera. So these were done in Chicago and a bunch of different colors. We have quite a few of these in all the different colors. That's the only reason that this is not staying here. I love this though, because of the little stars on it. It's yeah. so mid-century cute. Yeah, it has that cool mid-century vibe, the atomic design. And let me just show you how it looks set up um, in a display, because it will sit up nice and flat. You get that box sitting behind it, or you can display it inside its actual box because it has like the pinstriping design. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. But I mean, how cool, it's just, how cool is it? And I love the color of it. It's a really nice tone to the gray. It's not like too dark. There we go. Let's kind of show you. It's kind of coming in a little black, but it's more gray. There we go. It, yeah, it's a nice light gray. And if you collect yeah. these, they do come in several different colors. There's green, there's red, there's blue. Um, yeah. But to find it with a box is, is pretty extra special. Yeah. yeah, and I was going to mention, you know, the flash units and the cameras themselves usually are pretty scratched up. But nice, nice, clean condition, not any gouges or anything. All the connections are in good condition. Um, so, yeah, you could definitely, if you get the 127 film, uh, you could take pictures and have photos like you did back in the 50s. So, yeah. Victoria, Emery, I see you in. You've got quite a nice camera collection yourself. So, um, super excited. Set it up like that, and I'll just, uh, sorry, we'll get this box up here. I just don't want to break anything. Not today. Not today, David. Not today. All right, so there we go. I'll just hold them. So if anybody else wants to get in, you can. Measures right about eight inches in height with the flash. I know, Wordsmith. Isn't it weird? It's it's such a funny little setup, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. And yeah, the flash cube just pops right out. All right. So if anybody else wants to get in, now's the time. No just in cases. I'm sorry, Amy. 15, 14, 13, 12, <laughs> 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bit end. Oh, Victoria knows a guy. <laughs> she knows a guy. She knows a guy. Epic. Yeah, and guys, make sure favorite. to hang out with us tomorrow night at yeah. 8 p.m. Eastern. We will be doing a live shop with me from my friend Greta's shop, and you will not want to miss it. It is so fun. Yes. Victoria, congrats. congrats Victoria. All yours, thank you. Yay. Yeah, probably dad's Christmas back in the day. Totally. Is Skippy being cute, Holly? Let me see. Oh, biscuit. Yeah, look. Oh. <laughs> Him C button. Hi, Skipper. <laughs> You're pretty nice. All, right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Victoria. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm bringing a piece of raku pottery. Oh, I just found this piece. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. This is gorgeous. Look at that. It's pinched. You know, I like those the pinching. This is so cool. Yeah. I'm going to start this face at $18. Wow. That's a steal. The craftsmanship in that. Look, look at that. the detail. And look oh. at the... Somebody like had to hand carve all those yes. little squiggly wigglies right yes that is so gorgeous mm -hmm. 
Mm, Susan knows. Yeah, that is beautiful. I love the funky little pinches to it. Yeah, and yeah. like this little thing is like so tiny. I don't have that big of fingers, and yeah. my little finger won't even. <laughs> and it was so cute. I mean, it's like okay, <laughs> afterthought maybe. Yeah, that is so good. Carrie. Isn't that cool? like I thought that was the neatest thing. It almost looks like leather. Yeah. It does. It you looks, know, like, looks like tooled leather. Yeah. Tooled leather. Yeah, exactly. But it's in perfect condition. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. Ugh. Nothing on the bottom. Just to say what it is. Look at the cool carvings wow. on the bottom, too, all yep. the way around. They went all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is gorgeous. I always think of Lisa when I find Raku. Um, because I really didn't know what it was until I became friends with Lisa. And she was like, oh, yeah, I collect it. Um, yeah, it's, neat. it's pretty neat stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pee-wee. Totally. Yeah, it would make a beautiful gift. And guys, remember, Mother's Day is on the way, too. So if it you would look really pretty with like a plant or something, you know, just buy one of the little four to six inch pots at Walmart for 98 cents. Yes. Well, probably not anymore. And just drop it down. Yeah. That would be a beautiful Mother's Day gift. So good. Especially for somebody that like had a Western theme or a Western style, because yeah. it looks so much like tooled leather to me that I think it would fit in yeah. perfect with, with that type of thing, like saddles and all that, you know. Yeah, for sure. Love it. Oh, that's so good. Wow. All right. So I don't even I'm not even watching my chat. I got Susan at 18. 18. Yeah, it does look like little fishies swimming on it. You're right. Bloop, 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 bloop. Definitely one of a kind. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty, pretty cool. You know, I love pottery anyway. So oh, I it's too. about or the size of, you know, almost the size of my head. That I is can so tell you. Let me real quick and I'll. It's about eight, a little over eight inches tall. Wow. Wow. That's a cool piece, you guys. Isn't it? I love it. Yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and start uh, counting it down. I see lesson at 19. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Fit in. Mike is in at 20. Susan came in at 33. Looking for 34 or a bid in. Holy beans. <laughs> yeah, that's such a good find, Karen. I love that. I love them. Yeah. It does look like soft leather that's been squished. It does. Yeah. Even in person, it does. It's like I went up to it thinking it was leather. Yeah. And touched it, and because you know how with the pinch, I thought, well, it's probably a bag that was just yeah, yeah. Right. I was like, oh my gosh, look what I found. <laughs> so good. Well, congratulations, Miss Susan Jackson. Yeah. Thank you, Susan. Great pre, yeah, great piece, good price. I agree. Thank yes. you. I appreciate Heck. it so much. Heck yeah, so good. All right, y'all. I've got some more Easter funsies on the way. Mm. These are really, really, really cute. Um, and guess what? I found another one of. Guess what? I have David. I'm starting all of these choice for 20. Okay, I found another Easter tree and I stuck a figurine, it's a little sugar glaze bunny. Um, I st and look at his little glass eyes, isn't he cute? Oh, yeah. I haven't eaten the mushrooms. Oh, so this is a little. Easter tree. This is from like 1992. It came with the box. And look at these precious little hand painted wooden ornaments all over it. You've got eggs, you've got bunnies, you've got birdies on a nest. So. <laughs> and again, these little trees were popularized in the 90s. I still have mine that my grandma gave me when David and I were first together in the early 2000s. And I think these are so sweet. Um, this one has the ceramic base and sits great. And the base has the same flowers on both sides. So you can display it either way. And it's going to come with all of these precious ornaments. And I'm going to include the little sugar glaze bunny with it. Just because I stuck him in there and I just think it's cute. 
He is. He's creepy cute. He's creepy cute. We have his uh, twin that we're keeping. Yes, I'm keeping his brother actually. Um, look at the made in Japan um, little stamp on the bottom. So it's super stinking cute. And this is going to be choice number one. Okay, guys, is the darling Easter treat. Let me give you a size too, because I did forget to measure this little booger. So we're looking at 18 inches tall and right at like nine and a half inches wide at the widest part. Okay. So this is going to be choice number one in my Easter choices. All right. Choice number two is a very rare piece. Um, and I'll tell you why. You can find these little head eggs elsewhere, but you do not find their actual eggshell base that goes with them. These are little anthropomorphic eggy weggies. And um, look at the noses. They're slightly different. Like, I feel like this one's nose is like winking or something. Yeah. <laughs> and she's the the lash, lash extension. Yes. And they've all had lash, lash extensions. That's right, Karen. And they've been uh -huh. in rouge and they're just freaking precious. So you see, too, um, this is the back. And on the bottom, it just says hand painted. But I can tell you, there were two brands that did this particular style of eyes. And it was Tilso and PY. If I had to guess, this is very old PY from the 40s. Um, these do have their original cork stoppers on the bottom. And they are, again, very, very hard to find. You'll find the little eggs elsewhere. But you do not find the actual shells that they have cracked out of that is well it's not on the internet right now i'll tell you that so that's right. going to be choice number two are the little eggs that have cracked out choice number three so cute this is uh made by i'm trying to remember um do 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 this is made by anesco there we go anesco 1958 this is humpty dumpty now i'm going to show you Humpty Dumpty did take a little fall, okay? <laughs> not a high enough, but it looks like he has a hairline. It does not go all the way through. It stops right there on the edge, but I want you to know that that is there. Again, he's a spoon rest and he displays great, but the best part about him, guess what? It's a wall pocket. So you can actually hang this little bugger on the wall. Um, and then, of course, your spoon would go right here, but I would put like a little egg in it and he could hold the egg, but he's oh, still, yeah. so he actually does have a nice little bottom to where he'll stand up just like this in That's your cool. Easter display. And he's so stinking cute. Yeah. So I couldn't pass him up. I just love him. And um, these come with two different colorways. This one, one has blue pants, one has pink pants. I have Mr. Pink pants. And I just think he's fabulous. So these, again, are your choices. We've got the Inesco 1958 spoon rest. We have what I believe is early PY from the 1940s. Whoa. Oh, oh. Each other. They're not. They're, oh, they're not going to kiss. Oh. Right? Spicy. Isn't that so cute? I just love them. Um, or you've got the little PY eggy weggies. Or you have this precious Easter tree, and I am including the sugar glaze bunny with the base and all of the ornaments, okay? So I'm starting to count down, friends. Here we go. No, just in case, we're at 37 looking for 38 or more. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, I agree. Two, one, looking for my bid end. Thank you guys so much for hanging with us. Those all look good, great together. I know. It's all super duper cute oh together. Gosh. I actually had it up here together. Yeah. Susan Lynn, I see Mary's bid. Thank you guys so much for all the sweetness. I love these little Easter trees. I, I just can't beat them. They're darling. Oh, my God. Look at the bids. Holy cow. There is a weird lag. Wow. There's the bid end. Okay. All right. So Susan Lynn came in at 45. Susan, let me know if you would like the Easter tree, if you want the uh, spoon rest, or if you would like this really rare little shaker set. You can take everything if you want. And then Trendolin is the next highest bid. Then Mary Causey. 
All right. Susan Lynn said, yay, eggs, please, and thank you. You've got it, Susan Lynn. Congrats. God, I love that set. Yeah. I almost kept those. I really did. Um, okay. Trendlin, would you like Eggy Weggy or would you like the Easter tree? Just let me know. And then Mary and Zo. And Mary and Zo. Thank Good you guys time. for all of the bids. Thank you for loving these kitschy, precious, fun things. Yeah. The Easter tree is totally from my childhood. It makes my makes my heart happy. Yeah. Thank you guys. All right. Trinlin's passing. No worries, sweetie. And then Mary Causey. So Mary Causey and then Zoe Small. Mary Causey and Zoe Small. Mary, if you want Inesco Humpty or the Easter tree, just let me know. And then Zoe is right behind her. Okay. Mary's going to take the tree. You've got it. Congratulations. Fun deal. And then Zoe, would you like our little egg fan? I'm humpy and I took a good little phone. I have a wall pop and I'm real cute. Awesome. All right. So, so just let me know, babe. And, and I think and Susan Arvuvu is after that at 26. Susan Arvuvu, would you like Humpty the Eggman? Let me know, Susan Arvuvu, if you would like this. And or and if not, just say pass. Thank you guys so much. And I am gonna throw it back over to Mr. Diamond. Okay, it's time to show a big piece. So and resting, I'm ready. Do it. It's time for the pram. Time for the pram, guys. And Skipper's gonna model. Okay, so first off, let's pick it up. It is it's a nice heavy pram, but I wanted to show you we do have a little bit of um wear back here. Now with the display, I wouldn't necessarily worry about it because that would be kind of to the back of the display. Put your dolls in there. Um, I got this because it was a heck of a deal. I couldn't leave it behind. It's in such great condition, minus a few pieces uh, that have weathered over the years. Um, this one is this pram. I'm turn it this way. Here we go. So it has its original tag on the bottom, and I just think it's amazing. First off, the, the guy is in his suit, and he's messing with it for his kiddo. Um, but it was the Mary Lou doll cart for the Mary Lou doll. Um, and it says for JC Penny. Um, and sorry, I'm so far back, I can barely read it from here, but it's high quality, sturdily made, uh, specially contracted steel, I believe, uh, constructed. I can't, eh. but it says, um, yeah, high, I can hold up to 150 pounds. I've tried it with about 15 pounds, it does really good. So <laughs> it's uh, this is from right around um, 1920, pushing into the 30s possibly. I couldn't 100% date it because they were um, in the 20s and 30s with the doll. The doll's name is uh, Mary Lou, L-U. And- um, I have told Mary Lou before, actually. Yes, and the taller one, the like there's an 18 inch tall one um, that was this was that was made actually to go in here after this was made. Um, and what I didn't know what a pram was, I'll be honest. I, I knew this buggy was a buggy, but I didn't know what a pram was. Uh, apparently the pram, the pram is a British, um, word for a flat surface doll or a flat surface, um, uh, buggy. So, um, if, if this had a seat kind of sitting up, it would be considered just, you know, a stroller, but since it's flat, it's a pram and that was made that way. So if you have a little bit older kids, toddlers, they can sit in there whatever. So, um, so when you think about all the stuff that you can put in here and display, sit over in the corner, it's just amazing. Yeah. The wheels are all intact. And the only deconstructing I'm gonna do to ship it, you can see where the handle connects right here and right here. I'm gonna loosen those up to where they, it pop, the handle comes off and then the nut, the, the nut I'll put back on just loose. Yeah. And all you have to do is just attach it right back on. So yeah. that'll help the shipping cost. Um, it rolls just fine. And Skipper, guess what? It's time. It's time, Skipper. I don't technically have to do this, but I'm going to do it. All right, Skipper, you ready? Let's show them how good it is. God. Do you Skipper see Dan. It? David, put it on the couch. Oh my god! That is so cute. You have a dog. Oh, that's so cute, Scooty. Scooty, you want to go to the estate sale? 
Yes, please, Mama. Yeah. Oh my God. So, so if it wasn't going to sell, I was going to use it for my dog. So don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. I, it is so, I know, Trendlin, we, we can ship you a plush dog to go in it. But honest to God, what I would do with this too, oh. if, if you collect vintage toys, rubber faces, dollies, yeah. any of those, put them in the pram as a display. It is the yeah. cutest thing. Honest to God, if my house was bigger, I would keep it. I fell in love with this because it's a baby doll win. And you it's think from right? the 20s. Yeah, from the 20s. And yeah, this is such a beautiful display piece. I would put it behind every... Okay, skip this. Get out. All right, good boy. Good he boy. Really All right. He's a really nice cram model, honey. He did he really is. good. He's he pretty good. He's a natural. <laughs> so this I'll show you this side is a better display side. This side is going to show some a little bit more of the damage. So it's basically, you know, perfect for like a corner, like Sarah said, put some stuff in it and display it. And then you can still push it around when the kiddos are in town. It's not as big as a full size pram that's like Correct. tall. It's a right. little I mean, this is clearly made for dolls. It you would yeah, never and, and the picture down here shows you how it looks against a normal sized human being. But it will hold up to 150 pounds. And the other thing I was thinking about that would be great for this would be a photo session. So like oh, if yeah. you like to incorporate, you know, David and I are actually photographers in another life. Um, we did a lot of kind of vintage props back mm -hmm. in the day. And this is something we would have actually had for us for toddlers and kiddos to just get oh, in. For sure. Yeah. Isn't it neat yeah. how they did the, um, oh, what do you call that? Wheel 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 and over the wheel wheels. It's just yeah. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I like Trenolin's idea of putting some quilts, just little throws in there. Yes. Such a yeah. great idea. Great. So or throw a baby blanket over the part that's messed up and you'd never see it. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And it has the little little windows there which well, is really cool windows. it's just yeah. so cool i know i just can't even i love it all right so let's go ahead and count down um and like i said i will get this to where it'll fit into a smaller box than you can see because of the handle so thank you so much trendlin this is a great price yeah and, and i got a good deal on it so 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It is. I love the green. And David, did you show the green wooden handle on it? It's yeah. So neat. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Green wood, and then you've got the green metal okay. down here. Uh oh, Les is oh, going to put a dog that. in this. Les may just throw a dog in this yet. Uh -oh. I don't know. So good. Yes. Please give David a subscription if you have not at Junk Drink Mantiques. Oh, thank you. Show the love. All right. Well, congrats, Les. We've got you a little, a little pram, a buggy. I love it. Right, I'm going to set this down carefully. So All good, right. guys. Thank All you guys. right. Congrats. Okay, back to me. Les. Yes. Let's do another swung vase. How's that? Let's oh, do yeah. it. I'm going to bring a fin. This swung vase has 15 fingers. What? Whoa. Oh, dang, Karen. This is a 18 and a half inch. Wow. Fenton Amberina. Is that thumbprint? Is that what they call the yeah. thumbprint? I thought so. I'm going to start it at $25. $25 for this gorgeous piece. Oh my God. Oh, yes. Amazing. Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful, Karen. I love it. Look at how it has that. I'm going to turn it off again. Hold on. The whole thing lights up orange. Yeah, it does. That orange stuff, oh. you know, that it looks like a bittersweet when it. Yes. Yeah. Wowza. Oh my gosh. Look at how that thing stunning. goes. That is stunning. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a pretty one. 15 fingers. I like that. 
15 little nubbins on that that mm -hmm. glow like gangbusters. Mm -hmm. And it's 18 and a half inches. It looks like a trophy. Like, I know. know. <laughs> I'd like to think. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. This is such a good price too. We're at 35 and that's like half of its value really. Like that is 15 fingers of tequila less. Yes. Right. There you go. <laughs> oh wow. That is spectacular. It's beautiful. Yeah. I no, do strips, no cracks, no take backs. <laughs> <laughs> so good. You can tell I have grandkids. <laughs> no take back. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I love the yellow and all right. I'm gonna start counting it down. Ready? Let you guys know just in case bids. We are at 40 looking for 41. My word. So good, Karen. Yes. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid in. Wow. Look at you go. Someone's yeah, getting a heck of a deal. Mm-hmm. Heck of a deal. Especially on this tall. My goodness. Yeah, it's, bigger. it's big. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> it is. Well, That's a parade view. Yeah, Thank parade, you. Karen. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Congrats. Congrats, Susan Lynn. All right. Wonderful, Susan. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. That is so good. All right. It's hard to follow that. My word. Oh, it is actually time for a trivia. Oh, Karen, it's time. Okay. okay. Karen, I'm going to put you up here on the screen. Show everybody what they're going to win, and then I'll find you a trivia question. See this little Mexican vase? Cute. Yeah. Isn't it cute? It says Mexico on the bottom. Love it. It doesn't have chips or cracks. Okay. Are you ready for your question? And you're going to get this free. No shipping or okay. anything. First person. This is our 80s trivia, courtesy of Holly Parker. Thank you, by the way, Holly. <laughs> um, what film earned Henry Fonda his only Oscar for Best Actor months before he passed? Ouch. I know this one. I remember seeing this as a kid and it was sad, I, but it's been a long time ago. What film earned Henry Fonda his only Oscar for best actor months before he passed? I've never yeah, seen it. You guys know it. Um, Holly Parker, once again, winner, winner. Always Holly. It's always Holly. I know. It's always Holly. I yeah. already should have had it in the box address. I know, I know. <laughs> we don't even have to do these anymore. It's just always Holly. I know, Patty. Things Holly. Just send it to Holly. She's got that good internet. I tell you what. She yeah. memorized um, all those cards. Holly. You, Holly. Congratulations. Congrats. Oh my gosh! All right. So next up for me, I'm going back around with some cuteness. And you know, I was thinking as I was picking this last week. Oh, what would I want to get in my Easter basket? And I can definitely tell you some figurines, some dollies, some kitsch, some cute egg stuff. So I'm going to do a rubber dolly choice. Okay. okay. I have four to choose from starting these at 14. And first up is Big Betty's twin. And I will tell you, I got this QP specifically because if you notice... This is my big Betty. Uh -huh. This one is literally her little twin. And wow. she has starfish hands. Little and that's baby. how you can tell a really cute cutie from some of the other ones. She's not a cameo cutie. She is made in Japan, just like big Betty. And she has the same eyes and little painted face. She has nothing on the back. There's something there, but you can't read it. I don't know what that says. Um, it looks like maybe she was manufactured to be a squeaker at one time. And, of course, we've got little dimples over our butt cheeks because, you know, cubies. So she is Big Betty's tiny doppelganger is choice number one. Super cute. And you can crochet clothes for these. Um, you know, you can find little dolly clothes that will fit them. She also is jointed and will sit down, too. So you can make her sit or stand. 
All right. So choice number one is Big Betty's Buddy. Choice number two, let me put Big Betty here. We'll get over there, girl. It's Diane. Okay. Choice number two is this little guy. And he is super duper cute. He is made by Sun Rubber and has little glass eyes. <laughs> Dates to 1959 and still has his squeak. Aww. And again, wouldn't this be precious in a vintage Easter basket? Yeah. So darling. Original squeak on the back. And you can see it does say um, Sun Rubber Co. right there. And then also has the year, but it's really hard to read. And these are like little orange britches and then the little orange shoes to match. Again, great shape. Look at that curly hair too. Great shape for 1959. What yeah. a cutie pie. All right. So little man, choice number two at 14. Okay. Choice number three is a little Mobley girl. And she is holding her little teddy. She is very sweet. Look at her hair. And you've got a little bow over here that adorns her hair in the mold. She's got on little white Mary Janes and little pink dress. She's got her hands hold, held around her bear. Sweet blue eyes. Bow on that side too. And she is a squeaker, but the squeaker would have been metal and been right there. And it has, um, it has gone. So she is marked on the back as well. Um, made by Mobley in 1962. So Edward Mobley is the Mobley. one that made, like all the cat squeaks, the dog squeaks, yeah. and so on. So 1962 on her. Okay. Excellent. Last but not least is my favorite little weirdo. This is Charmy Chan. Now, Charmy Chan is a repro of the 70s Lapin dolls. Um, they are actually, they started out in England once upon a time um, and got really popular in Japan as a kawaii dolly. Um, her name is Charmy Chan, and this is the Kodama style of Charmy Chan. She's in great shape. And the original ones were done in the 70s and really, really cute, really kitschy. She is a repro that has been made of those dolls. And she has a little hole in her foot. She is not a squeak. She's just a little toy. But I think her colors, again, so cute in an Easter display because she's still bundled up for winter. Technically, it's a little chilly. Yeah. Um, but I love the little ball hat that she's got on. Mm -hmm. So, and these go for about $40, even the repros. Okay. So this is a really good deal. I got a great deal on all of these. So these are your choices. Again, we have Big Betty's twin, Big Betty's back here. Big and this Betty. is her twin little dolly. Really cute, bendable and movable and posable arms. Hey, it's me guys. <laughs> Big Betty. It's little Betty. It's okay. So we'll call her little Betty. And then we had this little guy, which is a squeaker from 1959 by the Sun Rubber Company. Very collectible little dollies and squeaks. We had third choice, Mobley, 1962, little girl. And fourth choice, Charmy Chan, Woodland Lapin Doll. All right. Counting them down. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. You could put these in your pram. 10, 9. Yeah, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Looking for a bid end. Yeah, All that's right. gonna be a new term. You can pram those. Yeah, put them in your pram. Make a little display with them. I just think they're so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Little Betty, Charmy Chan, Little Mister, or Little Missy. Little All Missy. right. There we go. I see the bid end. And Susan Jackson, you are the winner. Congratulations. For 23, let me know if you would like Little Betty, if you would like Charmy Chan, uh, white shirt or pink dress. Perfect. Yes. And then after that will be Susan Jackson and then Victoria Emery. You want Charmy Chan? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Charmy Chan. All right. And then um, Susan Arvuvu, let me know. Little Betty, Sun Rubber. Wait, hold on. I think Victor Victoria Emery was first at 16. 
Oh, I'm sorry. It's I'm so okay. sorry. I just got that. I apologize. Yeah. It was way up there. I, I'm yeah. so sorry. For Victoria and then Susan Arvu. Yeah. So Susan Jackson at 23. And I think she's taking Charmy Chan. Susan, let me know for sure. And then Victoria. And then Susan Arvubu. Yes. Okay. So just let me know. Okay. Yes. So Susan is taking Charmy Chan for sure. Awesome. Victoria wants. wants Little Betty and Pink Dress. You've got it, Victoria. And Susan Arvubu, let me know. If you want our little sun rubber buddy, he is precious and he does stand also. So okay, just let I'll double know. check. I think that was everybody. Yeah, that was everybody. Yes. Yeah, it was. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Thank you guys. Awesome. Congrats. Okay, I have a beautiful clock that I'm bringing next. Um, I could not believe I was able to grab this at a good price and it actually works. Um, so this is an antique, early 20s antique clock. It's made with out of copper. So you've got the copper for the actual um, figural portion. Um, and she's a, drum, a majorette. So she's a drum major majorette. Um, I'm just going to note one little um, issue right here on this side. You've got a little rub mark. Uh, you could touch that up if you wanted to. It's copper, so I would just let it be. Um, it is a beaut. These are very much on the rarer side. Um, I did not clean any of the patina off. So if if someone grabs this tonight, um, you can let me know if you want it cleaned up. I can take the face off and clean off the glass. And I can also clean off the dust that's captured in here. I left it because I know some people really do enjoy that kind of like little patina going on in there. Uh, the clock works great. I'll show you the, it's self-starting, so it's, and it's electric. So this would have been one of the first, you know, electric clocks, uh, when those first electric clocks were coming out. Um, and this, the company that made it was Landshire, and they made a lot of clocks, uh, high-end clocks. Um, and I wanted to show you, you've got the music notes all the way down. Here. Oh, I didn't even notice that when we bought this. Yeah, it, it's really interesting when you get up close. You've got a little pendant here. It kind of looks like Saturn there, um, and it's cool. attached to the beading that goes all the way up onto the clock. Very cool. And yeah, that, I mean, it's just it's just a beautiful piece, and you can see her face is still intact. Sometimes those definitely get worn down, and the only worn spot is just right here, and that could polish off if you wanted to. Um, it still has its original um felt on the bottom which is amazing wow. for um, collectors you know it's nice to have all of the original parts and on the back all you have to do is turn this to adjust the dial so you don't have to wind it it's electric you pull it out and you turn it however you want to to adjust it wow and then you pop it right back in the electrical cord wow. is in great condition no dry rot or anything like that just plug it into um, a power strip always always plug into a power strip um, and it measures right at 11 and a half inches height. So, Mike, I see you in at 62. This Thank is you so, so good. Yeah, Mike said yeah. probably antique. And yes. he, um, the brass alone is, yeah. It's, it's copper. It's, yeah, the copper. copper. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's that really valuable. copper yumminess. And, yeah, uh, antique, if not antique, it would be maybe a year newer than antique. <laughs> but, um, yeah, everything I saw was saying antique. And they have other figural, if you look up Landshire clocks, uh, copper clocks, they have other figural pieces, but the majorette was not as common. So, you know, um, it looks like Madonna last night. Again, I oh, see Madonna. Right. <laughs> Do you see it, Karen? <laughs> I, I see it. Okay, let's go ahead. Yes, she's a marching drum uh, majorette or a drum major. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead. Going Amen, can you show the face and hands up close again, hon? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So United um, is the clock movement, the clock piece itself, and then the actual piece that was made by Landshire. Can you show her face? Oh, her face. Here we go. Ah. Very cool. Yeah. Nice condition on the face. Wow. It's never toppled over. Yeah. 
So good. And again, for its age to even be in working order. And that was when we found it, we were both like, is there any chance that this possibly works? And then plugged it in and holy it does it, you know, so it's a hundred years old, no big deal. Yeah. And this would be beautiful also in like an Americana display, 4th of July display, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, So yeah, let's go ahead and counter down. Yeah, I agree, Phil. That font tells it all. So um, let's go ahead and count down. If yes, anybody else is interested. yes, works great. No issues. My only thing is I did not take it apart to clean the, the glass. I always clean those out. So whoever wins it, let me know if you want me to clean it before shipping or not. That's it. So uh, let's go ahead and count it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, bid end. And David Here's might just one. clean your clock for you. There I'll you go. Clock. Oh, Let no. me know you clean your clock. It's Madonna. It is, like, especially coming, it's like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a song, in my, but I can't get it out of my head. So. Vegas, I see you're 81. Thank you. Susan, I see you're 72. We're at Thank 81 you now. All the bids. You're all yes. wonderful. Thank you all so much. And there's our bid end. Vegas, congrats. You have a majorette coming your way. And congrats. yeah, in the comments, uh, Vegas, just let me know if you want me to go ahead and uh, dust it off and all that, because I will do that if you want. Yes. All right. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, Miss Karen, we are back to you, love. Okay, I'm going to try so some kitsch. Let's see how we do. First all off, right. I'm going to show you this little okay. thing. Oh, so cute. Aww. Can you hear it? Oh, it's a um, music box. With James Taylor, you've got a friend. Oh, I love that. I'm going to start him at $8. Eight bucks. That's a good deal. Wow. And it's got no chips or anything. It says right here, let me see if I can make the camera get it. 1991 SMS. S-F-M-S. Does anybody know what that is? San Francisco Francisco Music Box Company. Yes. San Francisco Music Box Company actually is known for some of the better working musical um, music boxes. They actually play like the San Francisco Music Box Company has the best melodies and they also have like. Oh, good. So at the same time, yes. Okay. So like better quality, yeah. Better quality. Kirk, yeah. Kirk found this. I didn't find it. He did. So so cute. Then, look at those eyes. I know. It's a little tabby yellow. Little yellow tabby kitty. How cute. That is so good, Karen. I just love that. I know. I love it too. I love the the fact that it's James Taylor version of You've Got a Friend. Me too. I grew up on James Taylor. How about you guys? Absolutely. All right. I am seeing uh, Susan Jackson at 8, then Susan R. Boo Boo at 10. And I will. Oh, Fire and Rain. But this one really is playing. You've got a friend. Yeah, that- Fire and Rain's a great song. That's such I, a good song. Song. That's, I was trying to remember what that song was that I remembered. That's a good. So one. I'm going to start counting it down. 15, 14, 13, <laughs> Cute 12, kid. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bidding. Bidding. Oh, no kidding, Amy. That's cool. She said his sister lives in Gulf Shores and she had her first restaurant here. That's cool. Really? That's cool. Very good. Very yeah. good. Okay. This is coming to Miss Jackson, right? Yes. Yep. Congratulations, Suzanne. Thank you. Oh, sweet Miss Arvuvu, your 13 came in right after the bid. It happens. It does. Okay. Ooh. Back to me. Ooh. I found the cutest books. OMG. 
these are so precious. Um, and I'm going to start these, David, just for $10 for choice. Okay. They're all vintage. And the first one I'm going to show you is from 1944. And it is Raggedy Ann and Andy with animated illustrations. Now, the cool thing about this, you guys, it's a pop-up motion book. Mm -hmm. So it has all of these little um, tabs that move things in oh the book. Gosh. Yeah. I didn't even realize. And it's still there. And still there. I love this guy. I think he's the hobby horse, right? Is that Raggedy Ann's? Um, no, they called it tired old horse. Well, that is how I felt at three o'clock in the morning last night. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute these illustrations are though. And then I love that it's got the little plastic binding in the middle. So the pages actually stay together and the binding's good. I see you trindling at 12. Thank you, babe. So cute. And let me show you some more of the little moving pages. Look at Andy and <laughs> big critter. Look at his oh. little I know. And a cute <laughs> little biscuit. What is that thing? It's the dragon, the big bad dragon. And Andy's fighting him. Oh, look. And here. Oh, wait. No, this is it. Look uh, at this. Can you believe <laughs> 1944? This is okay. still intact. Mm -mm. The cutest freaking thing. Oh, my God. And then look at Andy giving little Anne a boost. And I love this little camel horse, whatever he is. I just think that is darling. Yeah. This book is so cute. That's the backside. This is the front. It, for it, its age, it's really still great. And to have all the little pop-ups. Oh, my God. Look at this one. Look at the dragon. Oh, no, it's not oh, awesome. Isn't that a hoot? Yeah. I know. I love these. All right. So that's going to be choice number one. Choice number two, you're just going to die. This is my happy book of happy animals for 39 cents once upon a time. Look at the little TV director dog with the beret. You've got a little kitty down here. Hats off to you. And look at the rabbit with the camera. So, so as you get into this book, look how precious the illustrations are. The little dog is photographing. And the pages on this are kind of like, they're sort of thick, like pegboard pages. We've got the little bear doing a weightlifting competition with the squirrels in the background cheering on for this little bulldog who looks like he's in some pain. They're weightlifting. And then we've got, look at this. Uh-oh, Piggy got booted. <laughs> the donkey race the animal fear. Master Piggy flies through the air. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, Master Piggy. This one is darling. And then they're rowing. So you have all the little animal sports scenes we've got little skiing friends on the back it's just darling and the cover oh. alone just kills me right just so yeah. cute. this is choice two oh. and then choice number three i know susan <laughs> that i have <laughs> animal panorama and wait till you see this this one oh. holds out oh. all the way it's huge so look we're gonna start here so we have, and look how cute for Easter. We have rabbits. Oh, yeah. We have chicks, squirrel. You've got the little calf. We have the baby piggy. We've got the duckling, the kitten, and then the puppy. So really, really cute. And then, oh God, look at the deer. I almost forgot. Look at the deer. And then you've got the lammy inside. Tell me how cute this would be, like spread out if you had a yeah. long shelf to display this book. It's so cute. And this book dates to uh, 1964. So this one is from 64. The animal, uh, Happy Animals is from the 50s. And Raggedy Ann and Andy is from 1944. And it's a pop-out book. All right. With moving parts. Thanks, Susan. I know. I had fun looking through these. They're so darling. All right. So let's start a countdown, friends. Here we go. Uh, we are at 15, looking for 16, and we are counting down. Here we go. Four, no, wait, 15. I can't even count down anymore. Oh, the little last page is off. I didn't see that. Okay, this last little last page is off on Raggedy Ann, but it just lays in there fine. I just wanted to let you know I hadn't noticed that before. 
Okay. Yeah. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I am looking for a dandy bit end. A dandy bit end. Dandy bit end. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Trendlin's yeah. 20. Thank you, Trendlin and Mary and Susan Lee. Thank you guys so much for your bids. Hanging out. Love it. Okay. And there is our bid in from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. All right. So, Trendlin, let me know, sweetie, if you want happy animals, animal panorama, or Raggedy Ann and Andy. And then same question to Susan Lee and Mary Causey. Okay, so um, happy animals. Um, wait, yeah, I think that's right. Happy animals, Trendolin, and Raggedy Ann and Andy, which leaves Animal Panorama left. Susan Lee, let me know. And then Mary Causey if Susan passes. Okay, Mary's passing. Thanks for letting me know. Susan Lee, let me know. Okay, good, Trendolin. That's what I thought, honey. Good deal. Okay. No worries, Susan Lee. We can always bring this back for the recap. Was there anybody else, honey, that was fine for the book? Um, double checking. That was everybody. Okay, perfect. We'll bring this one back for the recap. And I got you for the others. Thank you, Trendolin. Thank you guys for all your bids. Yes, thank you guys. All right, so it's time for some glass. I've got uh, some different colors of glass that I'm bringing that we found out, and I just thought they kind of look cool together to show, so I'm doing it. Um, Trendolin <laughs> says she'll take all three. Okay, babe, you got it. Thanks, Trendolin. Oh. They're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to show each piece individually, um, and we'll start off with this Viking piece. So first off, we've got Viking. We've got the Viking glass um, maker mark right here still on the on the piece got a real, sticker. real sticker real we've sticker we've got clear and frosted cabbage leaf piece um and it is in really nice condition no chips no damage at all a great piece to display with something colorful in it obviously so i'll show you that and of course everybody loves to have that viking sticker we've got the frosted glass on the bottom and then it goes up and then the clear is just like looks like it's just sitting in the frosted glass. I like the cabbage leaf and the yeah. frosted and the clear really makes it evident how crystal clear, clear mm -hmm. glass is. The quality is so good. Agreed. Agreed. So that is your first piece. Really nice condition. I have another Viking piece I'll show next. Um, and that is the Lotus. Mm -hmm. Really nice Lotus bowl. It does glow under a 360 light. Um, and that is with that um, really nice epic green color. This measures right at four inches tall, and I think the diameter is a little over six inches. Um, but you can see it is a beaut. And this green, it really is epic. When the sun hits it, it just has like a glow to it. Mm -hmm. um, you've got that texture all the way around. Beautiful. Another nice little candy catcher. So wow. that's your second piece. I have another little uh, catcher. And perfect for this time of year. Really beautiful pink on the Fenton Swirl. Um, that's the rose dish. And uh, just a really nice, the textures on the bottom and then the smooth on the top. So it gives you like a Custaboda look to it. I um, thought, I remember when I found one of these the first time, I thought it was Blinko. Yeah. And I feel like um, that was during the time that Fenton was like, hey, we're going to try to kind of compete with Blinko. So right. They, putting out the thick, chunky, textured glass like Blinko. So chunky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very chunky. And that's your third piece. I have one more. Um, this guy is right at five inches diameter. It looks small, but it's not that small. Yeah. It's, um, it's last but not least, this picture we got, it's purple and beautiful. I'm going to show you its original sticker. Do, do, do. Okay, no, that's the right way. So it's made in Portugal. And... Um, uh, let's see. Indiana Glass made some like this. This is not by Indiana Glass. It had a different um, pedestal. This is made in Portugal with that uh, wow. diamond cut. Beautiful. So um, it is actually a thicker, heavier piece than the Indiana Glass equivalent would be. The pedestal part itself is extremely thick. And then the base here 
keeps it makes it very weighted on the base so it won't That's topple nice. yeah it's a beautiful purple um and you can see that handle is nice and juicy nice clarity on it um yeah. these guys are very pricey pieces made in portugal really? um, yeah you can find them for about 50 or 60 online um, and they did make different colors in this diamond point but i just want to show it all together just so you can see the colors um really look nice together um so we have the bowls we have the clear two viking pieces right now wow all right and then we've got the pink love the pink and then you have the purple okay that's very eastery honey isn't it eastery yeah that's pretty yeah my light is a little dim but yeah so we've got portable glass we have fenton and that's older fenton it's not marked so we have fenton and then we have two viking pieces and those are really good prices for these yeah, yeah a nice quality glass for a display those are so good honey thank you wow yeah twenty dollars guys for choice doesn't doesn't get much cheaper than that that's that's cool. pretty great yeah right. Aww, love that yeah well, i just love all those colors together mm -hmm. Clear, purple pink the green it just makes me yeah it kind of thinks of the greenery and the florals all the different things together you can Susan, me too susan said he did me a fright holding them <laughs> like oh, girl sorry. That's how I feel every that's how, every time we're live. I'm like, <laughs> please don't let this be the time he drops everything. You know? I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> these guys, these guys are good, and I've got three boards, but this guy is so heavy, I cannot put it on the board. It'll just everything will go toppling down. So um, <laughs> I'll just show them off here, like like so, and let's go ahead and start a countdown. Thank you all for your bids. Uh, Mary's in at twenty three. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get in. David, did you bring the people any snails tonight? Uh, no, no snails. No <laughs> snails, however. However, I do have a couple of interesting little birds coming. So yes. you never yes. know what's going to happen. Yes. Thank you, Janet. I see your bid. And thank you all. And there's our bid end. So we have Janet Green and then Susan Lynn. So this is going to be real easy. We're going to go clear, green, pink, or purple. No snail. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a snail. I was when we went picking. I'm not going to lie. I was like, we're going to find a snail, buddy. You guys but are cracking me up. I love our chat. They're so fun. Great. If you missed the whole snail thing, um, what was that? Sunday night? Yeah, Sunday night. you can catch it. You can see it on Instagram. It's all over the internet now. Yeah. Go ahead and watch the replay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Janet's oh, taking the Janet. purple. Good choice, Janet. Beautiful. Congrats. All right. And, and then Susan Lynn. Susan Lynn. Uh, we'll do clear, and that's the Viking. The green is the Viking. Or pink, and that is Fenton. Uh, that pink and the green together look really, really right? nice. Yeah. Okay, so Susan said, yay, green, please and thank you. Oh, nice. Congrats. Let okay, me... and then Sorry. the first person that was at 24 was Susan Lee. Okay. And then we also had Lucinda. Okay, so I can watch the comments. If either of you all want one of these pieces, put it in the comments. And I believe it was Susan Lee first. Susan Lee was first, then Lucinda is next. Okay. And then um, after that, we have Mary Causey. Okay. Susan's passing. No worries. So Lucinda, let me know. And then Mary. Lucinda. Mary's passing. No worries. Thank you. And Laza passed. So. Okay. And then um, Les. Okay. And Les. Then Les. Doo, doo, doo. All right. And I'll just watch the comments. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. I was just seeing if there was anybody else. Laza, I see you. Okay. So we are at less, and that was everybody. So okay. just let us know for sure, Les. Thank you so much. Right, Les, I got you for pink, and we'll bring Cabbage Peace back for the recap. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys. All right. Okay. Yay. Well, let's, let's stay with that purple theme, shall we? Yes. yes. I have this beautiful candy dish, hand-painted. And it, I don't know who the glass maker is, but it is a purple glass. 
beautiful. It kind of fades out about right here and then it's clear. And then once again, this is like a, a lilac, like real light purple. Um, it was painted by Mary Lou in 2003. It's signed right there. Oh, nice. I love it when the actual artist signs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love the, the top to this. It's, it's just kind of different it's not the ones that i saw online this was a little bit bigger more chunky of a round marble looking thing yeah. but it's very purple i don't uh, yeah can you see where it's yeah. yes that's it's just and, then, down. and then yeah. it's lighter in in here and then it's darker and then it's lighter and then it gets a little bit darker and then it's lighter i just think it's really really pretty and it's i just thought it was easter it's being purple and all yeah. I'm going to start this at $12. Oh my gosh. That's great prices, Karen. That is what? such a lovely piece. And I think the hand painting on that apothecary jar is mm -hmm. so pretty. And I feel like, I think those are pansies, right? Are they pansies? Yeah. 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 That's what I'm calling them. Mm. Purple so pansies. She does beautiful work. Uh, there are several of her pieces from the 90s online. But yeah, I just think she's very, very pretty really wow, yeah it's like all the artists that work for fenton too i feel like oh, it's, wow. it's that caliber art yeah it is, yeah the detail you can see on screen mm -hmm. i can imagine in person yeah it's it's beautiful it's got the little swirlies coming off of the it's just really really pretty it sure is yeah i agree less that would make a sweet gift and again you've got mother's day coming up right um, yeah you know, you could put whether, you know, mom wants some potpourri or some candy or something, you know, you could do a, uh, make a sweet Fill gift. it with Hoshi's kisses. Oh, yes. Got you a jar full of kisses, mom. Oh, that's <laughs> a good idea. I like that. Yeah. All right. Well, we will, I see uh, Susan Lee and then I see Verlaine and now I see Gail Lewis. All right. Let's start counting it down. Fifteen. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fit in. Awesome. I know. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Thank you so much for hanging with David and I. Yeah. Love you to pieces, and normally you're in the chat, and it's so nice to be here with you tonight, Karen. Agreed. I know I love it. I still don't say all the nasty stuff I usually say. So, Karen's a little Henri, if you know Karen. Karen's just a little Henri. Um, <laughs> Gail Lewis, congratulations at 18, honey. Thank you, Gail. Yay, Gail. Hey, guys, you make sure if you have not purchased from Karen before, please, if you would go ahead and email her your info at Karen underscore Chase 45 at Yahoo.com. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. Is it me again? <laughs> it is you, baby. It's me. All right. So I have another pretty. Pretty choice. And um, these are going to be your choices. I'm starting at 20. And this little piece, I know it's kind of white and milky looking. This is actually baby pink. Um, and this is actually made by Jeanette Glass. It is a Horn of Plenty. I have sold this one other time. And I think it would be so pretty in a mermaid bathroom. Um, I love the baby pink swirl. It's really a nice mold. I think it's really cool. You've got the little ruffly top. I have just a little greenery in there, but you could do whatever you wanted to. Um, but I think it would be lovely in an Easter display, too, if you wanted to put some little Easter eggs in it. Um, you know, display it amongst your other pink depression glass. Um, I also love pink. There's something about pink milk glass that looks really good with um, glowing green uranium glass, too. Yeah. I just So really, really pretty little piece. A horn of plenty horn made of plenty. by Jeanette Glass for 20. It is pink. Oh, great that. And that's choice number one. And then I have choice number two. And this mm -hmm. is 
really cool. Most of you guys know what this is when you see it. Yeah. This is the Acro Agate Swirl. Ooh. And this is a Narcissus on it, if you can see it, which is also known as a daffodil. Real pretty. pretty. And then look at the other side. I love how the slag glass, it makes it wide over here. And then look, you've even got a little punch of kind of like a brown color in that marbled slag. And I love it. Again, I think these are beautiful for spring. Look lovely within your Easter display. And really, you know, they're not just Easter. You, I would keep these out all spring mm -hmm. and summer long. Mm -hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? I know. I just love it. And I think that they are beautiful little pieces and they both date to the fifties. So nice pieces of mid-century glass. Again, this is pale pink. I know it kind of shows up as white because my, um, my light ring is so bright, but it is really, truly pale pink. Let me see if I can get it to show on white. No, it's still really blown out because my light is intense. Well, it's it definitely is showing. Yeah, that is so so, yeah, it's beautiful. Or then you got the little Narcissus, gorgeous agate, daffodil, acro agate vase. Love that one. Really pretty. Isn't that nice? Look at that swirl. Mm -hmm. I love that. I think this displays really nicely with jadeite too. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Any of these with uranium glass mm -hmm. or this for spring. I love pink and green together. It's so pretty. Good. Susan Lynn says, I see pink. I didn't know if it was like blowing it out or not, but it really is pink. Okay. And white. Yeah. So I'm going to start a countdown. I see Victoria is in at 20. If anybody else wants to get in on this deal, um, we are doing the Jeanette glass for choice of the little horn of plenty or the little daffodil acro agate piece. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And looking for my bid end. Oh, thank you guys. Well, you knew if we were going to have Karen on, she was going to bring the fire. And boy, she did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, she still has more. We're not done. <laughs> There's more. Oh, wait, there's more. Okay, there's, there's more. a bid in from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Victoria, do you want pink or green? Just let me know. Or you can certainly take them both. And thank you so much. She's going to take them both. They look Mark so cute. You're right. Aren't they cute? Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> like it. Congrats. Oh, honey, here we go. Well, we see you, Susan. Stay here. Stay here. Um, so <laughs> my next find, this is my favorite find of the week. Um, I've eyeballed these before, and they're always 100, 200, something like that. This one is in excellent condition. Um, I did go ahead and work on it today. The top had been um, bent in a little bit, and I think that's why I got such a good deal. So yeah. it is back to mm -hmm. close to original um, as far as the shape, and it is the beautiful air balloon style. It's antique, early 1900s, early 1900s, made in Tunisia. Wow. So uh, the northernmost uh, of uh, space up in uh, northern Africa, right up against the coast. And um, apparently the beaches there are golden and just beautiful. Um, wow. and so this is one of the artisan pieces that they would sell um, back in the early 1900s. Uh, these, um, this one does have uh, the working door. You just have to find it. There it is. So it's really cool how these are made. All wood and then just the metal pieces. And then these blue pieces are uh, little metal pieces that have been painted after clamping mm -hmm. down oh to God. make that ornate design. So those are all hand clipped or clamped. clamped. Yeah. So that it all comes together Whoa. to make such a beautiful piece. And then it has just a regular old wire piece for the opener. So you wow. just have that <gasps> to open it. And then you can decorate it however you want. Um, obviously, you're going to have to have the arm, you know, but it's it's a pretty good size opening to get in there. And you can decorate it, put a plant in there. Of course, you're going to have to probably pot it in there. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it's just a beautiful piece. These are very collectible. Once again, antique. And the wood and the metal alone is such um, soft wood and lightweight metal 
these do not did not last very long. Um, and all you do is just put a hook up here and you can hang it or a chain type of thing, or you can just set it down um, around your greenery would be beautiful. Oh, it'd be great as a lamp. Yeah, you could I'm definitely put very light. light down in there. Yeah. Um, and it measures 18 inches tall. Um, don't be worried about shipping. It's so lightweight. Uh, it'll be under $20 to ship no matter where it's going. Um, so it's a really, really good get. You can see the screws, the original screws are still there in intact. It has not been repainted. That's another thing that does happen with some of these. They've, you know, someone wants to get crafty and uh, repaint them and it definitely knocks the value down. This is all original and just an epic find from Tunisia, which early 1900s, not a lot of people were traveling to North Africa. Um, and if they were, they weren't coming home with something this large usually. Yeah. So. Yeah. And really, this kind of harkens to that Parisian style, too, yeah. with, you know, the wiring. And yeah. can you imagine putting a little bird in this, like a real bird? I mean, that's oh what these God. were used for. That's yeah. what they were used for, yes. They were used for a regular birdcage. Um, you can see, um, see, the, yeah, the, the bird cannot get out of here once you clamp it down. And then there's no space for anything to get out. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. And if you want to actually do a, a bird, you can just put a little tray, slide a tray down in oh, here. Okay. For a yeah. Um, yes. And yeah, and when I was looking online, the, the amazing thing is that these were purchased also like in Italy. They were purchased um, in Morocco, but they originated from Tunisia. So um, yeah, really, really beautiful, unique type of pieces. So let's count down. I'm so excited okay. for you, Ozzy. Yeah, um, such look, a good piece. Yes, it mixes in with your shabby chic, your Victorian, um, as well as your turn of the century stuff. So. Well, and can you imagine this in an Easter display too, with all the bright colors around that white and blue? I mean, yeah. I think they're a little finch. Yes, Victoria, I'm here for that. So cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put yes. a little bird in there. Just get them in there. Bird in it. In there. All right. So let's go ahead and count down. Uh, once again, 18 inches tall. And shipping is not going to be an issue. Nice and lightweight. All right. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. He's like, I don't want any. This is a beautiful piece. Mary has such a nice collection and really good taste. Yeah, I love it. Beautiful piece. All that wire work by hand, can you right. imagine? And it's not rusted out. like. Yeah, yeah. sometimes one... you find these and they're just so beat up. And the top was crunched in and David did a beautiful job hammering it back into place. It's so nice. That looks good. All right. Well, congrats, Mary. It's coming to you. It's a I love fixing stuff up and finding it at home. I think that's also something so rewarding about you know, what we get to do is that, yeah, you find these beautiful pieces, sometimes super beat up, and yeah. you get to put your love into it and then find it at home. Thanks, Mary. Yes. Thank you, Mary. Okay. I'm going to bring another swung vase. Oh, yes. This yeah. one, this one is um, a little more hard to find, this color. This is a Northwood black. Oh. And it's the aqua blue. Oh, dang, Karen. Ooh, that is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? This one is 14 inches tall. I'm going to start it at $25. Wow. That's yeah. a great price for that, too. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I got online and I was like, oh. Yeah. But I happened to, to get a really good deal because I bought 40 of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> because you're cool like that. You're well, like that with it the was a, It was a really good auction. I mean, it was a good deal. I got them all in, and they shipped them to me from Indiana. That's awesome. But look at that color. That's true. No. Victoria says you're killing her, Karen. Yeah. I know. It, I'm sorry, but look at it. <laughs> it's so good. It amazing. Yeah. The opalescence at the top is so thin and yeah. translucent, too. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I love it. 
Mike knows, Gail knows. Yeah, Victoria knows. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's a really nice piece. And I would say, do you feel like with Jefferson, do you think this is probably about 100 years old? Do you know era on this? I don't know if it's quite that old, but pretty close, it's probably. Close. Yeah, I would say so. Karen Williams, if you're here, she's she's my Jefferson Dugan lady. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would. I her. love that color. Oh, my God. I know. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the clarity on the bottom is just perfect. I know. Uh, really. Yeah, good. I like the way it designed here. And then a whole nother, you know, around here. Yeah. So you've got like the petal look and then you've got, hear that? Yeah. The ribbed on yeah. the, mm -hmm. the I just, I, It's just different. Totally different. Mm -hmm. And the stretch all the way up. All the way up. To keep those straight mm -hmm. lines. All, all six. The way up. Spectacular. Yeah. yeah. The ribbing yeah. is nice. I wish I knew how to do this. I love glass so much. <laughs> I should learn how to do it. As much as I admire it. Mm -hmm. it looks but good with orange. Hot. There you go. Less said I like it better than the orange. I know. Oh, no, I can't go there. But yeah, it yeah. looks really good with the orange, though. <laughs> she said, I can't go there now. <laughs> but, I mean, I love Mary those two said, together. All the boxes are still sitting in Atlanta. There's been weird, some weird delay in Atlanta for whatever reason. And we shipped that stuff two weeks ago. Oh, my goodness. Stuck in Atlanta, poor Mary has been watching tracking on these boxes, and we're all just like, "What is going on in Atlanta for this stuff to be stuck for so long?" Yeah. That, so, if you have not received a box from us for some reason, please check your tracking it's or in Atlanta. Check your tracking, because yep. it's just crazy to me. I'm sorry, Mary. I don't know what's going on in Atlanta, but it's out of my hands. Dang it! Right. Hopefully, they'll get it there. Yeah. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna start yeah. counting it down. Beautiful. Hi, Beth. Hey, Beth. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Ooh. 5, 4, <laughs> three, right, man. 2, 1, fit in. I know it will be like Christmas, Mary. I'm so sorry. That's bizarre. Maybe, yeah, who knows? Like, I don't know. It's wild. That's crazy, Pee Wee. That's really high to go to Italy. Yeah. yeah. I went to Italy when I was young and it was a tour of Europe. It was Paris and we're at UK. And I think, Susan congratulations, Susan Lynn. Um, Thank I you. We paid like, something like $1,200 for that whole trip. And it was 10 days. And again, wow. I was a student. This was early 2000s, but still, that's crazy to me. Oh, that's an amazing. Yeah, it yeah. was amazing. You guys that met on that last vase, stunning. We're yeah. good. Congratulations. So good. So, so good. Okay. Um, I have some cute little Easter funsies. And I tied into these. And I know a couple of you guys... Um, have Easter trees like myself. So I wanted to snag these and I'm just starting these at $9 for choice. And the first choice is going to be this little set of wooden eggs. And even if you don't have an Easter tree, thank you, Beth. Um, even if you don't have an Easter tree, these are really fun to put in like a little bowl or anywhere you need a little extra Easter cheer. Look at the bunny with the eggs. They're hand painted, each one, one by one. That one's got duckies. This one has flowers. And then um, this one on the bottom is like a little green bird. And I just think these are absolutely precious. Again, if you've got an Easter tree, they have hangers. But if not, um, they're so cool laying around in a little bowl or in a coffee mug, wherever you want to display oh, them. Perfect. And this is going to be choice number one, this lot of the six little natural eggs. Choice number two for your Easter tree are the larger, now these are like a medium size egg. And again, cute for display. They all do have hangers, so they will go on your Easter tree. You've got little ducky with a guitar. And the hand painting on these is so sweet. It just takes me right back to the 80s. I yeah. love 
problem. So that's going to be choice number two, this little lot with the eggs and the bunny and the chicken. And then choice number three is a bunch of tinies. And when I say tinies, I mean, these are like this big. They're, they're all little. <laughs> they're fun to put in a miniature shelf if you have one or hang these again from your Easter tree. And you can see we've got a little bird. We have little eggs. We've got a bunny. Look at this little guy. There's Humpty, another bunny, more bunnies. Let me turn it over here. So you got a little bird bottom there. Nice. And they're precious. I think oh. there's like over 20 in here. Okay. So those are going to be your choices. Super duper cute. Um, the little wooden eggy lots. And these are fun for decorating for Easter or put them amongst Easter baskets. If you yeah. do, um, you know, fun Easter baskets or cookies for neighbors, you could always put a couple little eggies in too for a little gift. But I just think they're so neat because they're hand painted. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to start a countdown. We are at 12 with Beth McDermott. Thank you all. Okay. for this. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for a bid end on all of the little wooden cutie pies. Yeah. Okay. You can make your own Easter tree too. That's a really good point. When I was yep. a kid, um, we didn't ever buy an Easter tree. We would go get a stick. I kid you not, a stick from the woods. And my mom would spray paint it white. And we would hang and put it in a coffee can with rocks. Yep. And we would hang Easter ornaments on it. So that was yep. how we did things back in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> And we lived in the woods, so it was easy to, easy. you know, go find some sticks. All right, right. Susan Arvuvu, congrats. Let me know if you want. We'll call these tinies. We'll call these natural. And we'll call this eggs, okay? So eggs, natural, or tinies. Perfect. You can take them all if you want. Brown painted and tiny for Miss Susan Arvuvu. You've got it, sweetie. And then Beth Lynn McDermott. Where did I get the Lynn part? I don't know. I think that might be part of your email address. I can't remember. But Beth, let me know if you want these. 70s too, yeah. 70s too, yes. Very good memories, Mike. Very good. Absolutely. I loved doing the Easter tree always. It was a big thing I look forward to. And those are going to go to Beth. Thank you, guys. Congrats. Ooh, congratulations. All right. It is time for me to bring some kitsch. Peaches. The, oh, I was going to tell you, Sarah, the are dogs are just wild right now because we were gone so long yesterday they're yeah. like up and running around it's crazy oh, so hey, um, i wanted to tell you i totally forgot to tell you guys yes um that the winner of the eggs which was um susan arvuvu i'm throwing this in for you this is a little crocheted chicken and it goes over an easter egg all right. So this is a little handmade. I was going to give that to the winner of the lot and I forgot. So anyway, those are, this is coming to you too, Susan. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. No, babe. I'm glad you did that because I needed to close the door. The dogs just came in. Okay. It's getting chilly out. Um, so I've got some littles. If you're, you've got those little shelves, um, we have some really neat ones. First off, let's start off with this one. It's made by Kelvin's. Bone China, Kelvin's, and it's a whale, the kitschiest of kitschy. He's he's going up out of the water. You've got the water up front. <laughs> Cute. And sitting on his back fins. All right. And these are in great condition, and they're all discontinued pieces. Very old, littles, about uh, two inches, a little under two inches in size. So that's your first one. Second one here I have, and these would all be great in a mermaid bathroom or something like that. Mm -hmm. We've got the pink flamingo. And um, mm -hmm. at first we thought it was the Hagen Reneker. It's not. It's actually, um, it's made by Shiken. 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 Sorry. Thank you. Shiken. 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 It has its original sticker and it's on the back side. So this is the side you would pretty much display. Um, and it is nice and pink. It's coming in a little washed out. Um, last but not least, this one's my favorite. Um, we have an itty bitty little uh, seal playing with Aww. his ball. Oh, I love him. I love him. He is made by Hagen Reneker, obviously retired. And he is also in excellent condition. Look at his little face. All the painting. It's 
so itty bitty to get painting done. I know. And that little tiny ball and everything. Oh, little buddy. Little buddy. All right. So, Mary, I see you in at 10. Um, thank you so much. Little bone china pieces made by wonderful makers in Japan. And let's let me tone the light down a little bit. Little that little, poor little flamingo looks white. Yes. La. There we go. That should be better. All right, so we'll put them up there so you can see them. That's a little bit better. Cute. Yeah, look at those eyelashes on the whale. <laughs> so adorable. Love so you. Mary's in at ten. We have three choices. If you want to get in, go ahead and jump in at eleven. Um, once again, uh, we have, this one is Kelvin. Hagen Reneker. Hagen Reneker and then Shaiken. Did I say yeah. it right that time? Shiken. I think so, yeah. I may not be saying it right, but I think it's Shaiken. I don't know. All right, well, Victoria Emery's in. Let's count down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fit in. I'm trying to shadow the flamingo <laughs> because I had my lights set for the bright, and so now it's like, yeah. Pee Wee, you got the brass elephants from us, but those other ones that were like skin, those were like they scared me because they looked like they were made from human skin. And I, oh yeah, I don't know who those came from. <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. Congrats, Beth. Uh, you are top bidder. Let me know if you want the whale, the seal, or the flamingo. And then Victoria. Awesome. So Beth and Victoria and then Mary Causey. Okay. Beth, I got you for the flamingo. Thank you. Victoria. the dog running around. So Victoria, let me know if you want the whale or the seal with his little ball. Whale or seal. Yeah. So cute. Focus. Love it. Skipper. And I think there was one more person. Maybe. No, <laughs> I <can't>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, let me know if you want whale or seal. And um, okay. I got you for both. Thank you, Victoria. Hey, Thanks, Skipper. Can we get back in your car? Awesome. All Thank right. You. My lovely Karen. Yay. Oh. Let's, let's do this one more time. Well, maybe two more. Okay. <laughs> this is a, a smaller vase. This is a Fenton cabbage rose in the oh. two tone blue. Ooh. You see it? I've never seen one that big before. That. That's no. gorgeous. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Started at $12. What? You heard me. <laughs> She's like, you heard me. Where is all deals, fan? Nine and a half inches tall. Karen so it's not a huge one, but look how pretty it is. I like the way that on the bottom, the they the design goes all the yeah. way out like yeah, like a vine, you know. Uh -huh. That's so different. Oh, I love that blue. I want to say, is this the colonial blue with the opalescent? Because I've never seen this with the opalescence before. It's the only time I've ever seen it. It's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, yeah, it is a beauty, Mike. I agree. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. This does have like a a line of the darker blue, I guess, got, it's not a crack or anything, but it's like part of the dark blue, I guess, got, a, you know how it gets those strings when they stretch yes. it? Yeah. Yes. So Which don't. I, like. I think that's, that's neat. Not, not, not a crack. It's just blue. Yeah. Good. I know. I think it's so pretty. How are you I not? Have the, I have no room for all this. Like I hear you. <laughs> you know, I, I. Plus, I have all orange actually in my display. You know. Oh, yeah. that is so good, Karen. You so I'm like, should we start collecting that color? Yes. <laughs> and you guys remember the jar that's right behind Karen? She's giving yes. away. She gets to 500 subscribers. And so, I'm adding to it every day. Yes. So please, if you have not subscribed to our girl, Karen Chase, 
please throw please her do. a subscribe. You can see she brings great stuff and good deals. And she and Lucinda have a Wednesday sale. What time is it? It's every other Wednesday. We switch off channels um, at 1230 our time, which would be 230 Central, 330 Eastern. Right. Okay. Perfect. So right before us, basically. Yeah. Right. So fun. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to count it down. Ready? Ready. 15, Ready. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Bid in. Love it. And you will see David and I having a mystery guest once a month. We love paying it forward to people that are trying to grow their shops and get going on YouTube. So please show Karen some love. Make sure you subscribe and throw a like on this broadcast if you would too, Holly Parker. <laughs> Whoa. Good for you, Holly. Thank you, Holly. Congrats. Congratulations, Miss Holly. That'll come with your free vase. Yeah, that will. Hey, we're probably good together. You know, I got to give Holly crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, my that gosh. They do look good together. That'd yeah. be really good because it's got the light blue and the dark blue. Yeah. You uh, must. <clears throat> you know, no worries, Susan Jackson. We're here for you, girly. We hope to keep you awake, honey. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, is it me? It, it is, is me. I keep forgetting. I'm like, do, do I go now? All right, so have a couple little Easter funsies. And these are just going to be for choice starting at $10. First one up is this vintage Easter postcard from the early 1900s. And it says, I can't read what's down there. It's the brand, I think, Wolf & Co. Yeah, Wolf & Co. Thank you, honey. Um, and it says, Easter happiness be thine. I say that all the time. Oh, yeah. Easter happiness be thine. I'm going to get it. Um, Good but afternoon. Look, girl, and she's putting the hat on the rabbit. And Aww. the rabbit has Aww. a mirror. Why is this so cute? That is adorable. It's precious. This is a three and a half by five inch little red frame that it's in. This is how I found it framed in this little frame. And I think it's cute because it does match the red on the little postcard. And yeah. it's perfect to pop into your vintage Easter display. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be choice wow. number one. Easter happiness be thine. I I can't resist the little girl putting the hat on the rabbit. So right. second, so cute. it is. It's so cute. Second choice is this old early 1900s relief postcard that says happy Easter time. And you've got the beautiful Easter lilies on there with kind of a cameo vignette and a little bell. Look at those purple flowers. And then it comes with a little hanky for you. So oh, this nice. is a little vintage hanky and it's floral. And it has that on every corner. And it is together with the postcard. So those are your two choices for 10. You get the little Easter happiness be thine postcard that is framed super cute or you can get the really traditional easter lily early 1900s postcard with this super sweet little hanky which is also nice to throw in like an easter basket or any of your uranium glass pieces or your small mugs throw a little hanky in there and let the edges hang out it's just another fun way to decorate with these old vintage patterns which are dreamy to me yeah yeah, Karen, I always loved that how you did that. embossed. What'd you say, Karen? Is that embossed? That postcard? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's like a That's relief awesome. embossed uh early That's 19th postcard. Yeah, it's really I cool. So ten dollars for choice. If anybody is interested on Easter Happiness Be Thine postcard that's framed with our little bun bun, or ten dollars for choice on the relief postcard with the really pretty little hanky. Awesome. Nine. Those are great gifts too. Yeah. Put them in somebody's Easter basket and make their day. Sure. Make the 10 day. bucks for choice. All right. I don't see any interest. That is okay. And I want to say, was that our last item? No, we have one more item. We have more, one more round to go. And then we're all going to do a recap. 
Yeah, we'll do ours. Thank you, Kiwi. I do it myself. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Susan's in at 10. Susan, let's do a quick little countdown, sweetie. Thank you so much. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're looking for a bid end. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on our Wednesday night sale. Thanks, Susan. That means a lot. Thank you. David and I work really hard to find fun stuff for you guys. And I love finding it and bringing it and getting it to new homes. Yes. So Susan, let me know if you would like the postcard and hanky or if you would like the little framed postcard. All right. Thank you so much. And I'm throwing it back to the hubby. Okay. So my last item is going to be choice. I've got some blown glass little fellas. Um, so, oh, that's so sweet. And she's oh. going to those are coming to you, Karen Chase. Oh, that's so cool. So All right. So, cry. cry on demand. Do it now. <laughs> um, we have blown glass animals that you can call them whatever you want. <laughs> this guy's kind of goosey. Um, might be swanny. I don't know. He's he's really uh, an interesting cat. Um, yeah. So he's about two and a half inches long. Uh, they all will stand up on their own. I'll show in a minute, um, but I don't want to bounce, bounce them uh, too much. So, um, and none of them glow. Interesting enough. Uh, you've got the applied eye. You've got the applied red for the beak and the feet. <clears throat> so, and then of course the green. That's your first choice. Second choice, he's a little bit longer. I would consider him more like a peacock because he's got that long back end. Um, and a long blue one, uh, three and a half inches long to be exact, and um, applied red and yellows, and then the swirly blue. All right, so that's the second one. Here comes the third one, a little bit shorter guy. I think he might be, um, uh, what are those, pelican? Possibly a pelican. I mean, it's not a big pelican type of thing, but he just kind of doesn't look like the others. I don't know for sure, but he's got that nice, like, white swirl for the body Aww. and a little bit of clear back here. Cute. Great for the little shelves, uh, especially um, the printer's tray, hint, hint. Um, and then we've got this cute, <laughs> cute little bird and I love him. He's got um, a white body. He's not gonna focus. <laughs> it's like blue chicken, yes. <laughs> yes, blue, ch blue chicken. <laughs> That's a good idea. And then last but not least, um, I know. But uh, last but not least, we've got all those birds, right? But what's a bird without a cat chasing it? So we've got a kitty cat. He's green. I wonder if that cat glows. Does he glow? No, none of them glow. Oh, yeah. Interest. I was so surprised. Even the white doesn't glow on him. Um, but he's got the brown all the way around. It looks like uh, the tail or no, not the tail, but it kind of looks like a bow on the back. Thank you, Les. I see your, see your bid. And so those are all the choices. I'm going to set them up. Peaches is our new, our deaf dog, and she's just barking basically at herself, trying to get someone to, to pay attention to her. So here, I'm sorry. Um, so there we go. So like he, he sits on his little nubbins. He's got his legs. Him's got his legs. This one's got nubbins down here. You can see as I balance them, they will topple over easily. I like um, the nubbins. Yeah. And then the kitty cat, he's going to stay, stay right. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was like, I'm not going to balance them too long. On hard. Okay. Kitty cat. Oh, I like the kitty. And I like the little, I like the guy with the pincher beak. It looks like a crab claw. I think it's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's as good as it gets. So. <laughs> hey, you're in yeah, that bird is eating something off the ground. That's all. Yeah. Why don't you put these in an ether basket? I, I, yeah, these would be awesome in an Easter basket. That's so true. Don't you Just think so, Karen? I think it would be perfect. Yeah. yeah. See, me and Karen think these should go in an Easter basket. Okay, I, I agree. Let's do that. In plastic eggs. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. The hose used to come in. That's a great idea. Put them in those yeah. little plastic Easter eggs. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, let's set them all together. Maybe they're, they're buddies and they'll help Kitty Cat stay up for me. Yeah. And he's going to bite his neck. There we go. So now they're all together. 
There we go. Okay, yeah. so we're going to start our countdown. I see Les and I see Beth in, and this is going to be for choice. Les and Beth. Yeah. Beth and Les. <laughs> Here we go. 15, 14, 13, ah, yeah. 12, 11, <laughs> 10, 9, 8, Sleepy 7, kids. 6, 5, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid in. The cat's a little shy, so he's looking at me. The cat is naughty. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. And my camera is not focusing. There we go. It's not very easy. It's not? All right. Well, there's our bid end. Mary, I saw you came in with 11 right at the end. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna... I had my hand up a puppet. There we go. <laughs> yeah. She was, she was working a rabbit. So um, just let me know if you want kitty cat that's standing back here or if you want one of the birds up front. Cat. Okay. Well, there you go. That's an easy one. So, okay. Mary, I got you for cat. Thank you. And then, and then the first the bird person lineup. 10 was less. Okay. So we'll just go, gosh, how do you want to call these? Beth? Okay. Less. Tell them uh, weird bird you want. Blue, blue, white bird. Okay. Okay, best passing, and then we're going to go to... Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, Bluebird. So, Les, I got you for the Bluebird. Awesome. And I think that was everybody, correct? Um, Mary, and then Beth passed, and then Les, and I think that was it. Yes, it was. Okay. So, these guys are left, and I'll bring them back for the recap. And then just... And sick. Thank you, guys. Awesome. All right, Karen, what you got? Okay. My last piece, this is the Westmoreland Milk Glass, and I'm hoping I can tell you the actual color. Let me see if I can get something white behind it. It is a, um, what is that? It's an Custard. almond. It's not really butterscotch, more of an almondy milk glass. Yeah, like a custard color. Custard, yeah. But yeah. It's not custard glass. It's just right. the color. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm starting it at 12. Oh, that's a good deal. All right. Yeah, it's 11 inches. It's got a pretty good looking mouth on it. Yeah. Holly says she has this and it's a pretty color. Yeah, I think too. It's a pretty color. It's almost like a kind of like an eggshell. Yeah, a little darker. But barely but darker than an egg what we call eggshell. But yeah, I love it. It's pretty. So pretty. Great deal to yeah. with your collection. And nice for spring. You know, I can see daffodils right. in this. Wouldn't this be beautiful with a bunch well, of yellow daffodils? Have you seen the um new thing where they're putting all the different <laughs> colored milk glass together in a display? Yeah. 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 I think this would look good with the pink and the green and the white, you know. Absolutely. Really, really pretty. Great in a centerpiece. Perfect in an Easter display, but really keep yeah. it out of here. I like the pedestal up into the panels too. Right. Nice style. Westmoreland makes yeah. great stuff. Yeah, they do. They do. And I like that it's kind of a thicker glass. It's not as scary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, milk, milk glass is a little thicker and it just, I have, you know, that glass fear. So I decided to move all my glass to earthquake country. <laughs> You're right. Edge over there, Karen. Living, on, living the on the edge. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> they thought I was crazy when I jumped out of the airplane. No, 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 no. All my glass to Washington State. That was crazy. I think <laughs> you're <laughs> <my good. laughs> Yeah, would look good with black. I agree, Beth. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah brilliant. Yeah. Start the countdown. We got 15. 14, 13, 12, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fit in. Fit in. Thank you so much. Mike's in at 15. Susan Lynn is in at 17. Victoria Emery's in at 16. 
Who's going to get it? I don't know. Never going to get it. 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 Never get it. All right. Fantastic. Susan Lynn. Thank you, Susan. That's going to be one heck of a big box, but I will get it there safely. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so good. I, that custard color is really pretty. I love it. Yeah. It's with lots. This is my last item. And then we're going to do a recap. I know the lag is really weird tonight, Susan. I agree. Um, okay. This is going to start at $18. And it is Japanese silk. And this is a Vera Bradley scarf. And it is signed. Vera is, as Ooh. you know, a wonderful designer from the 60s. I grew up with my grandparents and my mom um, always doing the JCPenney linen sales. Oh, yeah. Vera did a line for pennies years ago of sheets and so on, uh, but she also had a designer line and the silk scarf is a designer scarf. It has the original Vera tag with the signature of the ladybug and her full name is Vera Newman. Um, she was a prolific and famous designer in the 60s and these scarves go for about $30 and up usually 30 to 50 on a good Vera piece this has the lovely rolled edges in the silk as you can see so it has no issues whatsoever it is in beautiful shape I feel like it's probably never been worn and honestly I kind of want to just frame it like right. I love the abstract butterflies on it I love the blue and the green and you've even got like that spring kind of lime green kick in there and it is simply stunning. So a good price for a silk Vera scarf, like I said, starts around 30. I'm bringing it to you much less because I usually find things for less than what they go for, which is how we do. Uh -huh. And I'm able to bring you guys some good deals on, because I love a good deal myself. Let's be real. Yeah. Again, there's your Vera signature, and what a stunner. Um, Size-wise, let me tell you, if you did want to frame it, um, you are looking at, it is a square, and that would be 21 by 21. So, yeah, I think it would be so cool in a frame. Like, take it to Hobby Lobby or Michael's, one of those places that does professional framing. Have them iron out the creases and then yeah. mat it and frame it for you. Oh beautiful yeah all right so i am going to start a countdown thank you so much for your bid beth here we go 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 looking for a bid in on my pretty little spring abstract butterflies by vera it is a signed scarf, and you have your original Vera tag on the side. Fantastic. Stunner. Absolute There's stunner. All right, Beth, congratulations. This is coming to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And this is the time in the show where we go into the recap. And David, do you want to just tell everybody how that works? Absolutely. In fact, I will probably start the recap just to keep it easy. And I most likely have the most items. So I'm going to be showing um, some items that didn't sell during choice rounds and whatnot. Um, and I'm going to show you the item, tell you the price. If you're interested in that item, put it in the comments, the item name and the dollar amount. If there's only one person interested after like five seconds, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next item. If you want to get in on something, jump in right away, and we can do a countdown. Um, so easy peasy, we're basically getting uh, the bottom prices that we're willing to get. let things go. So this first piece is Viking with that beautiful uh, clear glass on top of the cabbage leaf, and that is frosted. Really beautiful piece. I'm asking $20, no damage. You could put, uh, I think it'd be great with any kind of like limes in your bar area mm -hmm. or uh, whatever. You know, you can do a lot of stuff with the clear mm -hmm. glass, especially that style. So just put in um, clear 20 if you're interested in the Viking. 
I also have this really beautiful blue vase and um, I'm tempted to keep it at this point because um, I do just love how thick that base is. And then we've got that really nice clear applied, um, basically like little divots going all the way up wow. and into that really nice heart shape opening at the top very thick nice clarity i'm asking 28 on that and you can just put in blue vase 28 and um the measurement just so I, oh i think it was 11 and a half i'm just double checking i don't want to tell you wrong yeah 11 and a half no sorry nine and a half inches tall glad i checked so Stop. nine and a half inches tall and that would be 28 um just put blue vase and then i had two waves left and these are three dollars each no chips or damage. These are the little um, tea figurines that you get from England. Wade, Wade. Wade. Uh, yeah, Wade Whimsies. So we've got the little buffalo, or we've got the colonial little hat. Um, wh wh whose hat was Paul Revere. Paul, Revere. Paul Revere? Thank you, Paul Revere hat. Great for Americana display, both of them. So, uh, Victoria, I got you for the blue vase. Thank you so much. So, if you're interested in the Wades, just put uh, buffalo or hat, $3. And then I have just a couple of blown glass fellas. I've got this little green fella. I like him. He's nice. Um, these are $8 each. Just put in $8 green goose. We'll just call them green goose for fun. Um, or you can put in $8 white goose for fun. Or you can put in $8 green and white bird. Okay. And that's everything for me. Victoria, I see you for both weights. Thank you. And the blue vase. Yes, and I got you for the blue vase. So I'll get you for those written down. So all we have left then um, would be this guy right here, the Viking. And it does still have its original sticker or this little bird. And that the bird is eight and the Viking is how much? And the Viking is 20. Okay, so if you're watching this on the replay and those are not claimed and you want to snag them, feel free to message us and email us. And that was everything from you. Yeah, babe? Yep, that's everything for me. Thank you, guys. All right, great. Okay, Karen, do you have anything to recap? Got nothing. Sold out, for Karen. Okay, yeah. That is what I'm talking about. We always want our guests to sell out. So thank you, everyone yes. in the chat. Everyone that's thank been here. Everybody. Thank yes. you, guys. Uh, for a wonderful sold out sale for Karen. Yeah. That makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Congratulations, Karen. Awesome. Okay, I have three things left, and I'm going to show you what they are. I have the sweet little sun rubber dolly for 14. He is from 1959. He has glass eyes and really curly, cute hair. His squeak Aww. is there. Cute little shoes, and this dude is 14. And he is again sun rubber. So right, um, little doll 14. If you would like him cute in somebody's Easter basket and so sweet. And then um, I had, oh, I had this little Inesco Humpty Dumpty spoon rest. He has taken a little fall and has a hairline right there. Okay. It is not a repair. It's not anything other than a little crack. Probably somebody set the spoon down too hard on him. Um, however, we're not really going to use this guy. We're going to display him in our Easter display. Right. So I am asking um, 20 for him. And the best thing is it's a wall pocket and it will actually hang on the wall as well. Um, of course, you can use it as a spoon rest, but it also sits up nicely. So it will stand just like this and it has a little flat bottom to stand. All right. So I see less in for Humpty. We'll give it couple seconds if anybody else wants to get in on Humpty and I don't see anybody else. All right. So less Humpty is coming to you. Congrats. Thank you so much. And then I had, oh, I had this left in bunny for 12. Such a cutie. This little guy is in great shape, no issues, has the original left in Japan tag. This was one of the choices and $12 for our little left in bunny in great shape. Has like bluish tint with the cute pink eyeshadow going on. Okay, I see Beth in for 12 and Annette, the little boy doll is coming. Um, 
Oh, I got two people for Boy Doll at 14. Okay. So, Beth, let me write you down first. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay. Good eye. Beth McDermott for the Left and Bunny. And then my little sun rubber buddy, we're going to do a quick 10 second countdown between Victoria and Annette. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for a bid end. Okay, Victoria says give it to Annette. Okay, will do. Thank you, Victoria. You're a sweet bean. Thank you. Thank you. And Annette, I got you for the dolly. And I think that was everything. That's a sold out show for me too. Woohoo! Hey, okay, right fantastic. On. Annette, Victoria gave it to you. So it's just 14, babe. But thank you for your bit of 25. You're so sweet. Laza is going to take bird and pelican. And I think that may be a sold out show for all of us. Well, you know what? Um, Laza, you're going to get those. Um, Okay, so you said bird and pelican. Yeah, the white one was like the pelican. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure I got the right ones. I got you for those. And yeah, so I just have two items left. Viking at 20 and then green goose. So Viking and green goose. Fantastic. But, well, what a that is amazing. Thank you. Oh, my God. What a fun, 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 fun time. Karen here. I so enjoyed oh, it. Thank, thank you, you Mike. Um, thank you to everybody that tuned in and hung out with us tonight. It was another wonderful sale. Again, we are here every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow night, remember, we have a live shop with me at Super Junk in Monument, Colorado. That is my friend Greta's store. It is filled with coolness. Yes. Kit, Fun stuff, groovy music stuff, everything you could ever imagine, plus clothes. So we are going live shopping tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Definitely tune in. It's going to be a doozy. So going to be so fun. And Karen, thank you for being our guest. Oh, thank you for having me. It was yeah. awesome. I appreciate it more than you know. Oh, girl, we love you. Yeah, I told I've you. I've wanted to do this for so right. long. So I feel so great about it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad. And guys, thank you for a sold out show for Karen yeah. and himself and almost David. Thank you guys so much. Yep. Almost, um, almost. Me. Yeah. Almost, yeah. You know, I, honestly, I am so happy to me. That feels like a sold out show because I brought some big items. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's a lot of support. So thank you guys. And so Green Goose is staying with me. So I don't care. I don't blame you. <laughs> Hey, huge um, thank you to Lisa for being our awesome bid ender, yeah. showing up for us, always doing a great job. Lisa, you rock. Thank you so yeah. much. And Holly mm -hmm. and Amy and the rest of my mod squad, thank you guys for all your love and support. I could not do these sales without you. So mm -hmm. huge thank you to you. And if you have not um, emailed Karen and you purchase something from her, please, please, please email her your info at Karen underscore chase 45 at yahoo.com. So she can get you invoiced. Make sure you send her all your info. Okay. Mm -hmm. David and I will be invoicing for this sale on Monday. If for some reason you need a rush on anything you purchase tonight, do not hesitate to ask me. I'll get you an invoice right out and we'll get it shipped right out. Otherwise, we will combine with tomorrow night's shop with me and Sunday night's regular Coleman Collective at 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so we are doing one combined invoice for the week. It's made our lives easier. Hopefully it's better on shipping for you guys. And um, yeah, it, the last two weeks have been so nice just doing invoices once a week. Oh, yeah, I bet. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, and don't hesitate to hit us up if you need something. So um, have a wonderful night, you guys. Peace, love, and vintage. And we will see you next time. Okay. Thank right. you again. Good night. Thank Absolutely. you. We're great Bye. selling with you, Karen. I love it. Karen Chase, guys. Throw yeah. her a Thank you. Yeah. Smooches to you, too. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.